Techsmith. Bam. Techsmith. Well, well, well. What a fucking Monday. Hi, Chad. God. What a fucking Monday. Holy shit. Um <laughs> I removed the I removed the VIP alert or VIP thing. Uh also all the alerts are gone, chat. Uh stream elements to stay a while. Sit that juicy ass right down and let me look at those dank ass milkers. Boy, I would sure <laughs> love to just stick my lips in there and blow a big old raspberry like <laughs> out <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> oh fuck <laughs> uh, um, uh, we have no alerts anymore chat uh, stream elements wiped out my entire account uh, I have no subscriber alerts no donation alerts I have no alerts whatsoever. Stream Elements deleted the entire thing. Um, so that goes on the list for another thing that I need to work on in the afternoons. Rebuild the entire channel's worth of alerts, no problem. And I lost all the files for them too. Thanks Stream Elements, that's great. Great. Off to a good start. <sighs> chance to make something new. It is true. Like, you know, on the on the one hand, it's nice to get a little bit of a chance to refresh everything, but also I I had I had uh I had hoped that this week's afternoons wouldn't be quite so crazy. <laughs> Gotta love Mondays. Gotta love Welcome to Monday. Technical difficulties, bingo square. Yeah, if you got technical difficulties, uh, that bingo square is a bingo uh, the hell out for you. Oh, yeah, we lost all our Kamehameha's too. Oh, man. Frickin' stream elements. Why are you being such a frick about everything? Maybe move away from stream elements now. Do you know another company that does uh, stream alerts? Yeah, no raid, no sub farts, no Kamehameha's, no dings, no clown honks, no nothing. Streamlabs has alerts too. I think Stream Elements is a part of Streamlabs. No Vegeta boobies, no mega stuffed milkers. They just updated their stuff on the 11th. Yeah, but we streamed on the 11th and the 12th. I want to give them a week or so to get kinks unkinked. Soiled it! Soiled it! Soiled it! Yeah, basically. Soiled it! Soiled it! Soiled it! But what if I do a bunch of work in a week? Are they going to undo all the work that I do in this week and then try to bring back what it used to be? Are they going to... Am I going to lose everything twice? Frickin'. <laughs> Probably, right? That's... Now, now, now I'm worried. Make backups. That's why I said, so just go no alerts for a week. Can you save your work locally? We interrupt I our program to bring you this important message. I love you. Now back to our show. Um. What was I saying? <laughs> we can deal with no alerts for a week. Okay, we can just do no alerts for a week. Uh, 
do all alerts a cappella. Oh, there we go. What if chat submits alert suggestions? Interesting. Interesting. You just act out the alerts. There we go. There we go. Just have to manually fart and yell Kamehameha. Well, this sounds this sounds like a win now. We have enough tangents to make up for the alerts. There you go. Perfect. <laughs> When I resub, can you please play jerk off all day? Yeah, sure. Why not? Good morning, Viv. Uh, how be you? Well, you know, now that I just had my entire stream elements uh, thing wiped, you know, not as good as I had been going, you know, maybe 20 minutes ago. <laughs> can I get a unique tech thing for my birthday? Yeah, you betcha. Hey, congrats on the, uh, congrats on the birthday. You leveled up. When I type a message, can I get a fart for each character I type? Yeah, absolutely, Caldy. Perfect. Nowhere but up to go now, BB. I mean, that's true. It's just, it's a long climb. I was already up there. Isn't Tangia essentially just an alerts platform? Uh, I mean, it makes things happen on screen. Please prepare thy bussy for a thrashing. Excuse me? It was my birthday too Saturday. Can I get a ding, please? Absolutely. Hey! Oh! Hey, happy ding day. Congratulations on the level up. A lot of streamers don't use sub alerts anymore, but they're fun. I liked our little clown honk nose. And I like, I will never, never give up my dubstep Kamehameha tier three. I will remake that alert if I have to from the ground up. I love, I love my dubstep Kamehameha tier three. You're like that uh, Yodel Mountain Climber guy from The Price is Right. What? What? What makes me like him? Please record your own version of it. Perfect. There we go. Honestly, tier threes are pretty disruptive. Okay, but tier three is supposed to be disruptive. Okay, it's a big deal. Can we have our diamonds back? I don't know who had diamonds. Uh, I, uh, I was in such a rush to get rid of them. I don't know who had them anymore. <laughs> Nobody has them exactly. <laughs> Stream elements of the new Jump King? Yeah, true. <laughs> Everyone who says they had one gets one now. That's not true. <laughs> Hey, Doss. Aw, oh, thank you so much, Doss. And I told you you were gonna have a problem, didn't I? I told you I was gonna have a problem, didn't I? What are we playing today, big boy? We're gonna be playing some gas station sim. Check out that new Airstrip DLC they got. I actually had two VIPs, but I'll meet you in the middle at one. Oh, wow, that's very big of you. Thank you. The Return of the Desert Penis. It's been a while since I played it. I wonder if I can even remember Cock. how to play it. Whoa! I'm having, a, I'm having a conversation. Not Walter, please. Airstrip, can the desert penis go hardwood floor? Maybe. You know what? I don't think they can. I think they need the landing strip. Eh, 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 eh. Eh. 
Oh yeah, no, we got rid of the we got rid of the uh, VIP uh, tech buck. I've come oh. for your pickle. Uh, I, I removed uh, I removed the buying VIP with channel points because uh, basically you were buying permanent VIPs because I forgot to ever remove them. <laughs> you were just, you're like, I get VIP forever. 17 months until you remember or something else happens. So because I couldn't be trusted to keep track of it. <laughs> Just when I was having enough points, you did that on purpose. Listen, I need to I need to acknowledge my own strengths and weaknesses. Is why have I lost mine though? We removed all the VIPs for D and D, and now I have no idea who had what VIPs. I just ran through and removed them all. Ow, the coffee's too hot. I burned my tongue. What a Monday. I definitely had a VIP tech. Don't think about it. Okay. I believe you. Would you be interested in like a short beats with curse shit you say, I'll jerk myself off all day, but short form? You know, on the one hand, like the 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 sub alert was just a little horn honk, little squeezy horn nose, um, and I feel like that was pretty good. Uh, it's pretty unobtrusive. Maybe for a tier two, it would be nice to have a little beat. And tier three, I will remake my Kamehameha. I will find it. I will remake it. I don't give a heck. Um. So yeah, maybe for a tier two, that could be cool. I was mod, but lost it somehow. Oh, okay, let me get you that back. <laughs> listen, chat, the V, listen, the V, the V apocalypse has come again. We, we were warned about the V apocalypse one time. Uh, apparently the V apocalypse came again and we weren't prepared. The VIPs are just gonna have to come fresh and hot again. <laughs> can we lose our mod does that mean we are free no you can never lose your mod mod is for life i was the streamer what happened to my little camera <laughs> vip narok vip narok has come again but don't worry there will be another chance i tend to hand them out like candy uh but i also take them away like candy from babies there ain't nothing i like more than taking candy from babies they can't even fight back all they can do is cry like little bitches. <laughs> yeah, cry. The big strong man is taking your candy. <laughs> I'll cry for you if you VIP me. Oh, goodness. Pretty sure a baby could take you. They got to sleep sometime. I'll take that candy from the babies when they're sleeping. <laughs> oh yeah, sorry, Caldy. I forgot. I forgot to re-enable walk-ons. I re-enabled normal blurps. I forgot to turn on uh, walk-ons again. People with degradation kinks right now are thriving. <laughs> yeah, fucking cry about your goddamn VIPs. <laughs> okay, I think the walk-ons are back on. <laughs> stop, I'm gonna come. <laughs> Text you start backing stuff up to Google Drive or something. Remember, tech Jesus saves. Uh, roses on a piano are a little romantic, but I prefer tulips on my organ. Oh, a Mobius God. strip walks into a bar, crying. Uh, the bartender asks, what's wrong, buddy? The Mobius strip replies, where do I even begin? Oh, you, hear, you, you hear the joke about Oedipus and Midas? Motherfucking gold? <laughs> 
Did you hear about Lidl's house what? brand of cashews? It's called the Aldi's Nuts. A, a, a Keck W got him. Um, <laughs> What? I probably own the worst thesaurus in the world. Uh, not only is it terrible, it's terrible. Ugh. I am oh Cremus, god. god of crime. <laughs> okay, Cremos. Okay, Cremos, <laughs> go sit down. Oh, Cremos, you got the beer farts. You, you've had enough. Um, I did mention that you lost your shit on Streamlimit's tweet about. Oh god. <laughs> Goats, be quiet! That you uh, that you lost your shit on Stream Elements' tweet about getting in touch with them and tag you in it, so it's easy to find the report. Like, oh, really? Let me take a look at this. Let me take a look at this. I miss this stream so much. <laughs> Uh, okay. Well, I don't see the tag, but that's okay. I'm sure I'll, uh, I'm sure I'll find it. Tech, I feel like, uh, your beard feels like pubic hair right now. Um. Wow, what an unfortunately accurate way to describe it. Huh. I had been just kind of, uh, I had just kind of been enjoying my beard growing back, but now it kind of feels like I've got weirdly hairy balls growing on my face. That's so much worse. Hey, th thanks for ruining my new beard. Give it another week and look better. Mine looks nice. No, yeah, I know. I did lose that one week of, uh, I did lose that one week of growth. That's okay. Oh, that's weird. Okay, I can see people interacting with the tweet, Nye. I just don't actually see the tweet. Did you block me on Twitter, Nye? <laughs> okay, I see it. I see it. Okay, cool. I'll send them a message later being like, Hi, you deleted my entire stream elements account. I was just wondering what the fuck is up. Hi. Hi, you've ruined years of hard work. Could you fix that? Oh, thanks. <laughs> like because I oh, is that why people do? Oops, is that why people do that? I never knew. That makes sense. Can't get over how boring normal Twitter is now. I know it's fucking awful, right? It normal Twitter is the most boring, mundane shit ever. Um. Okay. All right. Uh, Tech, I joined you in solidarity, but I shaved my entire chest and now I'm itchy. You know, so listen, my chest hair kind of grows up and can kind of peek up and out of my shirt a little bit. And so when I was shaving everything, I decided to shave that little bit that comes up and out of the shirt too. Um, and that was a huge mistake because it was like seven days uh, of non-stop itching right here. Just the scratchiest, itchiest, fucking most awful feeling ever. But finally we're past that. <sighs> that was terrible. I hated that. <laughs> Y'all suck at shaving? Uh, no, I have a little buzz buzz that goes zip zip, okay? I'm great at shaving. I hate it when the hair grabs the shirt. I kind of like it. <laughs> ah, buzz buzz go zip zip. 
had to buy liquid talc for under my boobs this week. Listen, whatever it takes, whatever it takes. That ball cream has been a goddamn lifesaver lately. Owl Queen! <laughs> Owl Queen, you name the date. I'll go to Italy, absolutely. I don't remember how often 313 spoke. I think it was 50, but it might but 30, it might be 35. If it's too much, we'll just adjust it. Sounds good, metal. Reminded me why I'm wax instead of shaving. I don't know why I shaved so dumb. I know, shaving, uh, listen, if it was easier to wax, I'd wax more often. <laughs> buzz buzz is what my ex called vibrators. Please can we not call your shaver that? I'm not calling my shaver that. I'm calling my vibrator that. That's how, that's, I went, I got my buzz buzz out. <laughs> And I vibrated all the hair off my face. <laughs> buzz, buzz, go zip, zip. I, it's, I, I don't, I, it's exactly what I said. <laughs> well, TechSmith is over the Monday blues already. Yeah, it's been 15 minutes. I don't care that my entire fucking channel was destroyed anymore. <laughs> <laughs> um why can't you dm me on discord uh you can't dm me on discord wow why can't you what happened to my account did somebody log on to my computer and like unlink all my shit what the hell happened what the fuck is this emote what the fuck is let's fucking piss Oh my, just what this, just what this chat needed. More abilities to fucking piss. Great. Uh, at least it's not just you. Others are struggling, uh, busting it also. I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. Yeah. Uh, all of chat and you are your channel, not some alerts. Uh, Buko, yeah, all the alerts are gone. Uh, Stream Elements is trying to shadow ban me. Trying to get your blackout curtains? Nah, it's just dark in the morning. That's on my list of things to do too. I cooked yesterday and didn't give any to Viv. She hangry. Why didn't you give any to Viv? Shadow gang you? Yeah, that's the, listen. Yes. Uh sorry it's been a shit morning for you today. Heckin' dumb stream labs. And if it makes you feel any better, I'm taking oh for fuck's sake, little pregnant building. I don't need to know when you're taking a giant fat shit. God damn it. You can just do it and then think about telling me and not tell me. Shouldn't it be daylight 100% of the time that close to the North Pole? Yeah, it basically is. I don't know why it's not brighter. But yeah, we woke up in the bright sunlight today at 6 a.m. <laughs> Where's the fun in that? All right, Danky, you have a point. <laughs> overcast? Maybe overcast. Could be. Tech, they can't shit unless you're watching. Please, God, no. Please. You get the northern lights where you are sometimes i've heard reports of it i haven't seen them yet but i've heard that sometimes they see them here i'm very excited for that i've only seen it like maybe twice in my life you know about blood hunt uh is that that vampire game never worked for me it kept on kicking me out saying you don't have a real account Listening to Tech Baby Girl while I get my nails done for the first time in a long time. Figured I'd treat myself. Hey! Okay, that's awesome. Most pop people are lucky to see it once. Yeah, I count myself lucky for having seen it once. I could see them back home in Upper Michigan. You should be able to once in a while as well since you're further north. Yeah, exactly. I figure we could probably see them. I, I, give it a couple years. I bet we'll see it once.
They're ending development on Blood Hunt? Well, it never worked for me anyways. No big loss. <laughs> VIPs for everybody! Everybody gets a VIP. You get a VIP. And you get a VIP. I heard the alerts broke. Oh, just my stream element stuff. <laughs> Me too, everybody. Uh, warning, some people might not, their VIP might not show up in chat, but it shows up in my heart. <laughs> Here's my name so you can press it easier. Okay, there you go. Boop. VIP. <laughs> Can I have my VIP back? You betcha. Boop, VIP. In my heart. <laughs> Congratulations. You're very important to me in my heart. Got your VIP right here. Pants grab. But that isn't a badge. Do you want me to pin a badge to my actual fucking heart? I'll do it. I'll rip my goddamn chest open and I'll fucking pin a goddamn badge on my heart if you want. Yes. Okay. It'll probably kill me. I do. Okay. I just want you to know I probably won't survive this. If any of the VIPs say a single bad word, you know what to do. Oh, boo -hoo. <laughs> Should make a literal. What is this? Why is chat coming all over Here, my. Oh. We see the wild techsmith, well adapted to his environment, but a random catastrophe has destroyed the careful stockpile of tools he uses to get through his day. <laughs> Without these tools, this poor creature is helpless and bumbling like a babe. So distracted, he failed to comprehend even basic puns told to him by the local cremotion goat. <laughs> said state of affairs, he may not last through the coming summer. <laughs> oh my god! Anything the local. I can do is to drink my own pee. And this is something I've never done before. The local cremotion goat? <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> My stream is ruined! <laughs> great. Let's fucking piss. Oh, this is great. I love having this all over my face. Oh, this is great. Ah, super cool, chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is great. Oh, nice one. Nice one, chat. Oh, this is perfect. It's everything I ever wanted. <sighs> I'm moving my camera in front of... I'm moving my camera in front of chat. Ugh. Uh, I'm moving. Get, get OBS. Stop fucking with me. Now is not the time, OBS. What the hell happened? What the hell happened? Oh goodness. Goodness gracious me. I can hear them. I can hear them pissing. Oh god. <laughs> okay. We're gonna pee on your ass if you move us behind you? Oh God. Um. Hey, look, we're here. Whoa, drug dealer simulator. Oh, cool. I don't remember how to play this. Um. Okay, so how do we do things? I'm, wake I'm making lots of money. I've missed it here. I have also missed it. The fleshy, fleshy pink paint. The giant nozzle. The desert penis. It's the legendary desert penis. It's hit. Whoa, is that like a. Oh, that's my storage room. Uh. 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 Can I lockpick these things? Eh. Eh. Hey, how's it going? Just. Just taking a quick little li look inside your. Hold on, just, hold on, just, damn it! 
It's a bit smaller than I remembered. It's often the case with the desert penis. It's all, it always lives larger in your mind. Okay, so how the fuck do I play this game? Okay, so we got uh, we got people gassing them up. We look pretty, wow, we got $24,000. Wow, how are you doing? Close. All right, let's take a look. How do I use the computer to... Uh. Hey, I wanna manage you guys. I'm your manager. Oh, look at all these achievements. I don't even know what's happening. It's not normally this small, it's just cold. Ah. Hello, officer. Hello, officer. The young, wow, look at all these achievements. I don't even know what the hell's happening. Happening. Take a break from a game and come back. Oh my God, how do I play this? I'm so fucking noob again. Yeah, I don't remember how to play this game anymore. It's been too freaking long. This is why I wish this was multiplayer. God, this game would be so good multiplayer. I have $25,000. It's going so good. Uh, okay. Oh, do I need to like pull this up? Do I need to like pull, put this away and go back to my hands? No. I got new mail and a full trash. Okay, how do we deal with the full trash? Oh God. Are you the full trash? No. Everything is automated, but I don't know how to do it. Oh God. What's this? F to pick up? What is this? Oh, I've got it now. Oh no. Oh. Oh, perfect. It's like dangly doorway beads, except, you know, it's a fucking hose. Oh, you actually... Okay, you actually can't get through that. Ugh. Ah, okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. My current task is to sit on the bench and enjoy yourself with some beer. Hint, well-deserved. Okay, so I guess I just fucking sit. Uh, sit. I don't. Ah, uh, this is the this is the same game, Frey. I just you know I don't I don't remember how to play. This is the we are here at the official desert penis. I just uh, you know don't actually remember how to play. Looks different. I mean, we did make some progress on it. Uh, 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 uh. Start over? I know, do we start over? Do we, do we reinvent the desert penis? Cause I don't remember how to play the game. Make a new game. <laughs> Make the desert vulva the era of the vag. All right, let's start over. Let's do it. All right, let's do it. We're making the desert vulva. Can we get a ding for Aho Keepa? Yeah, we can, absolutely. Aho Keepa! Oh! Happy birthday. It's the era of the vag, the desert coochie. <laughs> yeah, also ammo. I mean, we can just have two. We can have two game files. I purchased my VIP badge. I don't have a perma one. Uh, Medalist, you made I jerk myself off all day, okay? You've earned it. Cool, because I have the in-game music turned off. Whoa, uh, airplane. Whoa. <laughs> Is that all I have to do? Jerk myself off all day? Yeah, you want a VIP badge? Jerk yourself off all day, then come back to me. I'll give you your VIP badge. <laughs> oh, 
that's right. Thank you. Thank you very much, Sleepy. Yes. Uh, Maddie Moon had 100 bits. Also, I will apologize. Wow. Eddie13 had a brand new Prime sub. Hey, Eddie, thank you for that brand new Prime. Oh, okay. I was going to say. Oh, man. No, Eddie, you're not free. You're not free. You're back. This counts as tw month 25. Okay, Eddie. <laughs> Just not reset. Um, I will apologize now. All alerts are borked, guys. My alerts are all fricked. Um, I can't hear any alerts. Uh, Maddie Moon had 100 bits. Saying, no tricks, just wanted to see how grateful I am for the community you've, you've created. This past weekend was amazing working with some dear friends, but it was also a harsh reminder that incurable diseases aside from cancer still exist and that life can be so fragile and so unfair. I got home last night and found myself looking forward to stream today because I knew it would be the laugh I needed so badly. Thank you for creating a comfortable and safe space for everyone. Oh my God, Maddie Moon. I'm sorry you're going through some rough shit. That's that's really, really tough. I'm so sorry about that. I'm glad that you can have a laugh here at this silly, silly little corner of the internet. Uh, maybe noting in uh, stream title, our alerts are down. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll put that in the stream title. Uh, stream alerts borked. Wait, if no alerts, then my 24 month uh, sub count doesn't count. Am I free? No, you're not. I'm going to go find it right the frick now. Where, there it is. Winged kitten. 24 fucking months help step streamer looks like i'm stuck in here now but okay all right it looks like you're too happy to be stuck in here <laughs> uh understandably angry thank you for the 29 months 29 why do i keep putting myself through this because you have to now understandably angry are you skipping on playing Tears of the Kingdom on stream? So I was actually talking to Kay about this uh, this morning about how basically in three days, the V Rising update comes out. And we are going to uh, try a... Um, we're gonna try a community server for V Rising. Um, and, uh, we're going to stream some V rising and that's going to be my plan <clears throat> until Diablo, unless it's not that fun. If we're just not quite enjoying it enough, if it's not quite the stream we want to have, if it's not the right vibe, um, then maybe we'll do tears of the kingdom or something like that. But, uh, the plan is to do V rising first and then uh and then we'll see how that plays you started a new desert vulva i mean that's also true Frey. we got a whole new fresh gas station sim playthrough to get through now frick made a lightning sorcerer this weekend it was so fun i'm so glad you enjoyed it because they kind of nerfed uh they kind of nerfed the lightning sorks so i'm glad you're still able to enjoy it Oh my god, that is so cool. Casey Case, that is so fucking cool. Also, yes, Hung Solo, true. Oh yeah, Viv makes a point. I would need to beat Breath of the Wild first. I'd need to go fight that final boss on Breath of the Wild before I played it. Last thing I read said the 17th for V Rising. Oh my god. Well, yeah, so it'll probably be, uh... We've got to follow this sparking cable. Oh, the sound effects. It's like there's no sound in the game. Uh, do we try maybe a little bit louder? I don't know why we had it so quiet. 
There we go. Uh, so is V Rising an ARPG? It is. It is an MMO AR. Well, no, not MMO. We we host like a dedicated server. But yeah, it's an ARPG. It's extremely, extremely good. Metal. If you haven't played it, I think you're really gonna enjoy it. <laughs> what the fuck is that goddamn fucking? What the hell? Tex piss? Holy shit, that is a bad emote. Oh, God, that is a terrible fucking emote. <laughs> ah, fucking hell. But then I refunded because somebody told me they ended development on it on V Rising. No, no, they've been super active. Follow them on Twitter. They're actually really good about communicating. Do you look like you're in piss jail? <laughs> God, it no longer is it blurps you have to fear. I have to fear a lot of things. V Rising is one of my favorite games. It's so fucking good. I'm so excited to play it again. I didn't beat it last time. On your purchase and investment, little nephew. It has been a while since you've heard my voice now, hasn't it? Yes, I'm a busy person. But luck would have it that the land you've purchased once belonged to my father. Since you are not only a potential business partner, but family no less, I'll do my best to help you. I will send you emails on a regular basis providing you with information on how to handle each part of the business. Do make sure to pay attention. Well, I must head off now. It was pleasant speaking to you again. Good luck. Um, dude, ammo? Well, that's a lovely thing. So... Will we need to buy any DLC to join in and play the, 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 the community server? Uh, Unimus Phil, that's an excellent question. I don't know the answer to it, to be honest. We'll have to find out when we get going. Um, uh, so yeah, V Rising, I think, I think the, the servers cap out at what, 25 people? So it'll be a little bit of a premium on space. If we have enough interest, though, we might uh, we might fire up a second server. So we'll see. Stream alerts are borked. Yeah, stream alerts are all borked. V Rising was like a little Lost Ark, right? Oh yeah, kind of. Yeah, um, uh, kind of like a little Lost Ark. That's a really good way to look at it. Yeah. That's, that's uh, very much what it's like. And with a little bit more building, because you built your own castle. Or you and your like clan built your own castle. Why are we restarting? Because I don't remember how to play. But with sexy vampires. When Diablo 4 comes out, you're going to be making a clan? Yes, every beta I've made a clan called Bod Gang. And I will be making a clan on, on launch called Bod Gang as well. So if you're playing Diablo 4, make sure to look for the, the clan Bod Gang. We even did a little uh, world boss kill this, uh, this playthrough. You're like the BBEG of my wallet. I know, I'm sorry, I'm so, I apologize. Did you get your word boss kill? I did, Vanguard. I did, yeah. Got mine at 4 friggin' AM. God. Yeah, I did get my kill. What does a D4 clan allow you to do? Uh, it lets you talk to people in the clan more easily. It's kind of like a mini Twitch chat where everybody can chat in there together. Um, so it's easy to put, put together groups of people from the community kind of thing if you ever need help. I think it might also come with other passive bonuses, but I'm not sure. What's this? What does BBEG stand for? Big bad evil guy. It's 
See that one dude soloed the world boss as a rogue? Yeah, fucking crazy indeed. Uh, oh, hey, yeah, Full Metal, that sounds great. Thinking about spinning up another easy mode dedicated to freshen people up. If anyone's interested, we'll post in Discord. That sounds awesome, man. Uh, EO folks curious about D4 uh, playing on NA server works just fine. Hey, that's great. Big, beautiful, erotic grands. <laughs> Well, now that you said that, Flame, now I have no choice. Oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> I have no idea what this could be. Well, just you wait and see. Just you wait and see. Yo, I'm hopping all around. I'm a pink bird. I'm walking all around. Better drink some wah wah. I'm just flamingo. I'm coming on your shoreline. Here I go. I'm gonna peacefully drink. Yo, I'm slowly creeping up to your front yard. Nothing threatening here. I'm just a flamingo. I'm a flamingo and I'm coming up to you. Oh, is that your child? I'm gonna rip out his motherfucking eyeball. I'm gonna rip out his goddamn eyeball. I'm a flamingo, I'm a rip out of your eyeball. I'm a flamingo and I get up in your child's eyeball. No more eyeball, child bitch. <laughs> Time for grandma. Time for grandma. It's time for grandma. I'm gonna eat your grandmother. Time for grandma. Give me your grandmother. Give me her vagina. I'm eating your grandmother's vagina. I don't give a fuck. I'm flamingo, bitch. No rules here. No rules here. I eat vagina, then I fly away. Flamingo, goddammit, I don't care. I live by these rules, and it's true. The damn baby is a lawless nation for the flamingo. It's nothing that I do. Got to a bad I can't know when I'm flying all out. is mine the snack is your person your human body is my appetizer then for dinner i think i'm gonna do croutons and maybe a light baby spinach i think i might do baby spinach for dinner um but first your sister and first your sister and then your sister's sister and then your brother's sister that's right i'm eating your entire family tree what's up bitch it's me it's your flamingo thank you <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the reminder about Grands, Flame. <laughs> what am I looking at? Shut up, 313. You like it. This is what Bo Burnham's Inside Album would have been if quarantine lasted more than a single year more, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. I wasn't sure at the start, but now I'm totally amazed. That's basically Marc Rebier. Is when you start out, you're like, eh, and then by the end, you're like, fuck yeah, fucking Flamingo! <laughs> Okay. Mark what? Mark Rebier. He's still my alarm? Good. 
<laughs> That's what I call a PSA about the dangers of flamingos. I agree. Didn't he do that in Central Park or something? Yeah, just on the weekend, he played that live. It was so great. I showed my husband that uh, video four years ago, right before we dated. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Computer? Uh-oh. Oh, okay, we're fine. Oh, I'm not gonna tab out again. That was scary. <laughs> uh, okay, listen, I have to read my email chat, okay? I have to read my email. <clears throat> uh, no, there's no F chat. No, I can see that I'm still streaming. Howdy, or greetings and salutations. The dialect never really was my forte. Regardless, I've just heard you've made a solid investment, though. Though. Oh, goodness. Uh, is though a full sentence? I've heard you just made a solid investment, though. I pity the fact you had to sell your car for it. You could ha have always asked me for a loan. I'll pitch in with a few tips and tricks. My emails will come periodically so you can index them and their topics. You need to get this station up and running. Who knows how badly it got damaged all these years ago. Don't forget to keep generating profit. Refurbish a, refurbish a fuel dispenser first. Oh, and don't worry about the money for this part. We're all family after all, and family keeps an eye on each other's backs. I'm here to lend a helping hand, and a man like me puts money where the mouth is, as they say. Oh, cool. And not creepy at all. That's a comma there? Well, then why is though capitalized? Wow. Okay. Remove sand piles in front of the gas pump. All right, here we go. Gas pump. No fuel. Oh, cool. Oh, fun ride. Did you tell Kay that we told her happy, happy Mother's Day? Um, listen, I'm gonna say yes, because I don't want you to be mad. But also, if you ask her, she might say that I didn't. <sighs> you had one thing to do? Uh, listen, I got high, and then I wasn't paying attention properly. Oops. Oh, it's full. There we go. She isn't a mother. Well, you see, the fact that I'm technically all of chat's fathers, um, kind of means that she kind of is a little bit. You know. Right? In some ways. Uh, return to removing hint. When the exhaust turns red, hold right. Uh, oh, I see. I gotcha. Uh, uh, I'll call her mommy any day. Whoa. I don't know that she'd know how to handle that. Um, hold on, since you're our, a dad to all of us, but Kay is not our birth mother, does that make Kay our stepmommy? Whew. You know, I get the feeling Kay might not like that either. That one also seems like it could be a problem. Is this another big old dirt thing? Oh, I see. I just, I can just open up the fucking thing. Does this mean I owe you a Father's Day gift? Yeah, you've all missed a number of Father's Days. Uh, I guess we can just go park this thing. We don't need this thing anymore. 
should have thought this through. Uh, well, it break my my years long streak of never thinking anything through. Yeah, right. Can I get a ding for my birthday? Holy shit, is this like the fourth or fifth ding we've had? Man. I was putting a lot of, <clears throat> never mind. Happy birthday! Yay! I was very busy today. <laughs> this is a very busy day for me. <laughs> oh yeah, nine months ago. Sorry, nine months ago today. <laughs> Um, okay, I can open close the gas station anytime. Okay, gotcha, 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 gotcha. What's this? What do you want me to do? Uh, delivery, fuel supply, order. Uh, okay, how much money do I have? I got 450. Holy fucking shit, man. Order. What's this? Uh. Hey Tech, what was nine months ago? Uh, I don't know. I don't fucking know. What is this? What do you want me to do? Test your car race, space bar to jump, get through all checkpoints. Oh, this is just like. Oh god. Oh god. Money, 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 car racing. Ah! Oh, uh, yeah. eh. oh. oh this thing's kind of hard to fucking drive. Uh, eh. Eh. Yeah, bloop. Meow, meow. Ooh, oh, whoa. Oh, cool. I'm video car racing. I forgot that. I don't think I ever did this again after this little tutorial. So I've got customers of fuel. I have no fuel at the gas station. And I'm busy out playing with RC cars in the back. I'm basically the worst fucking gas station owner ever. Ugh. Let's go. Let's earn those twenty dollars. Perfect manager habits. Ugh. One left. Go for it. Yeah, achievement. It was terrible. Oh. Eh. Oh man, Jeppy, I'm so sorry, man. That's tough stuff. I don't think you made that last checkpoint. Listen, uh, I'm a manager. I made it as much as I need to make it. Serve the first customer at the fuel dispenser. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. And... Boom. Uh, just to add to your list of things going wrong, uh, your chat on screen is way behind for some reason. Oh, I bet I know why that is. I bet I know why that is. I bet it's this. Yep. That's why it is. Uh, there you go. I can do, I can fix this. I can fix this. Wow, that didn't work at all. <laughs> I broke it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, okay. Let's uh, trim that a little bit more here. Grab this and just uh, maybe like a... Nope, more maybe, maybe like a... How about that? That looks pretty fucking good. That looks pretty fucking good. There we go. Got it. Got it. Nailed it. Just make it no frills Monday. Hey, what's a frill? There's a store that I've been to called No Frills and I didn't know what I was missing out on because I don't know what the hell a frill is. What do you want now? Tools, trash bag, trash bag obtained. I see. Tech, the desert vagina is haunted? Uh, no, I'm sure the desert vagina is not haunted. Um, okay. T to close. We saw a ghost. You saw a ghost in the desert vagina? Oh, yeah, now we're cleaning it up. Oh, yeah, we're going to get this place all tidied up. I got so used to the old DP gas station, I was confused seeing this trash heap. I know, right? But it's okay. We need, uh, we need, we need, uh, we need a desert vagina to go with our desert penis. Oh, look at that. These can go straight into the garbage. That's so nice. Got it. A bit, 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 bit. I'm out of here. <laughs> oh, I can still hear him snapping. <laughs> Give me that. What is that? Give me that. With a nice landing strip. Exactly. Every good piece of genitalia needs a landing strip. Ugh. The vag just needs a little freshening up. Exactly. Just a little bit of freshening up. It'll be good as new. <laughs> How do you get a landing strip on your butthole? Uh, shave the hair into a landing strip. I don't understand what's difficult about that. Should I be wearing headphones while at work? Probably. Nah, Magic Manders, you're totally fine. We're just uh, spicing up the vagina so that we can, uh, you know, service all the cars that come plowing on through. Piece of genitalia, not the whole thing? Yes, correct, correct. Self-care. <laughs> as much garlic as you can get in there? I'm sorry. Hold on. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. This is a this is a new type of genitalia care I was not a I was not aware of. I'm sorry. Garlic? This is a new one for me. I came in to be cozy and lurk, but what the fuck did I just come into? Listen. Uh Lakotchka, um it's uh it's uh it's the desert vagina and um it's gonna get wild try to keep the vampires out oh my god of course i hadn't even been thinking of the vampires oh my god <laughs> cannot recommend cranberry juice enough <laughs> Be like Kiki, garlic cleanse. Boy, that sounds so bad. Um, I guess I should maybe change my stream name to the DV. The DV. Uh, uh, 
There we go. Perfect. What are the stains on the floor? The desert vagina has a lot of discharge. Uh, that's okay. There's a lot of different kinds of vaginas. Sometimes there's a lot of discharge. Pretty sure I've heard people saying putting a shelled egg in there helps. Wow, I'm learning a lot more than I ever thought I'd learn. See, in the desert penis, it was my wheelhouse. How do I turn this thing? Ugh. And now, uh, and now I just uh, now I'm uh, I'm along for the ride, learning along with everyone else. Ugh. Oh, this thing's almost fucking full. Buy a broom. Oh, yeah, we'll do the broom after. Let me just fucking clean up the garbage here game, okay? One thing at a time, video game. Garlic is a natural contraception also. Wow. What a, what a multi-use. Uh, you know. How do I spin this? Ah. Nope. Uh... Oh God, it's gone. I ate it. I think I just ate that entire clock. Today's stream is on a deep, slow spiral into the abyss. Well, to be fair, it started when stream elements took away all my notifications. Tech Incorporated does not advise putting stuff off your vagina. These are jokes. Dis official disclaimer. The TechSmith 314 TTV Incorporated does not condone, support, or advise the sticking of things up your vagina. This is a disclaimer. Insert at your own risk. Too late, instructions unclear. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, hey, look, a guy. <laughs> oh, come on now. We're just having fun, man. It's clean. Uh, you want some gas there, sir? Here, let the desert vagina service you. There you are. Have yourself a desert vagina day. Why are you wearing a Santa hat? That's weird. <laughs> MLB tryouts when? <laughs> uh, fuck. Uh, well, I don't know that I actually got that. Ah! I think I got that. So what you're saying is I should have someone else stick things up there. Well, with consent. It's important to have consent. Oh, I need to buy a broom. Buy a broom, equip it. Okay, let's sweep the floor. Tools, broom, tab, broom. Top left corner, you can see the floor is dirty status bar. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Clean, clean, clean. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, that's the stuff. That's nice that it shows up kind of in that bright blue color. Makes it way easier to see. Boop, 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 boop. Got it. <laughs> Look, I've got a lady pocket full of garlic, and I haven't stopped drinking cranberry juice all stream. And now you're telling me? Oh God! <laughs> wow, that is that is a uh, that is a recipe for disaster. <laughs> it's a recipe. <laughs> Howdy, sir. Have yourself a desert vagina day. <laughs> I will forever call it my lady pocket now. <laughs> uh, 
uh, order garbage collection. Okay. Uh, services, garbage collection, order. Oh my God. Okay, okay. Give me something to throw at Dennis. You freaking kid. Give me something. Get this piece of fucking sheet metal. Oh, get out of here. Stupid kid. Well, he might be dead. We might have to call the cops. I mean, nobody call the cops. Uh, what are these things? Buy a roller and paint the scribbled walls. Oh, yeah. Buy a paint roller? Now you're talking. Uh, once equip tab, press shift to select a color. There we go. Fleshy, fleshy, vagina pink. Oh, I see. I got to keep it in the green. I see. Oh, yeah. Sweet, sweet vagina pink. Veg time. <laughs> oh, wow, full metal. You can have up to 60 in a V Rising server. Whoa, that's a lot. Ugh. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Desert vaginas all coming together. Should I buy V Rising? Um, you know, we're going to be playing it here in just a couple days. So you can always see what it looks like and then decide after that. It might not be exactly your jam. Kind of pale. Uh, this vagina has not been getting a lot of sunlight. <laughs> what? Go sun your vagina. Are we playing V Rising on the 17th or the 18th? Whatever day the gloom rot uh, launches on. That'll be when. Uh, yeah, Leximator. We'll see what size we can make the clans. 17th okay well then we'll be playing on the 17th wow that's crazy we'll probably be bouncing between uh v rising and uh gas station sim and long drive for the next little while uh until uh until diablo comes out i had to hold myself off this weekend i only got three characters to max level on diablo this weekend i had to hold back I wanted to save some juice for uh, for launch. Only three, yeah. Only three, yeah. Hold, yeah. <laughs> I could have got all five, but I tried to hold back. <laughs> Only three, yeah. <laughs> so we'll uh, we'll we'll uh, we'll we'll be playing it pretty fucking hard when it launches. Small Lands game got a major update. Oh yeah, Small Lands was great. Which ones are the more OP right now? Uh, you know, honestly, they all feel pretty well balanced. Probably Sorcerer is the most overpowered. Um, but they all feel pretty well balanced. And honestly, once you get legendary weapons, everything's overpowered. Max clan size is 10 with customized settings. Okay, good to know, good to know. Um, oh. Will you have a chat party for Diablo? Yes, I will, have a, I will have a clan slash guild for chat. It'll be called Bod Gang, as long as I can get that nice and early. Bod Gang's gonna be the name of the clan for chat. 
and we're gonna fuck up some world bosses and shit. Oh boy. Ugh. Are we doing that perineum sun tanning here? What in the hell? Am I gonna have to Google what a perineum is? <laughs> Nodders. Uh, the area between the anus and the scrotum or vulva. Oh, it's your taint. It's your taint. It's the science word for taint. Yeah, also known as the taint. I got it now. I got it. I got it. Uh, yeah, no, we do perineums tanning here. Oh, God. Oh, no. The desert vagina just squirted all over me. Oh, God. The discharge. <laughs> That'll happen. Yeah, that, you know, it happens sometimes. When you're. <laughs> never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> Um. Oh yeah, I was talking about the Diablo Four Necromancer. They nerfed the ner they nerfed the skellies, but I feel like in a pretty good way, honestly. I kind of like that the uh, the uh, skellies in Diablo Four uh, are more of a resource now, rather than just a permanent. I tank everything, kill everything for you. Diablo Four is now an idle clicker game. Make the opening of the desert uh, V cherry red. <gasps> oh, I don't have red. Okay, when we unlock red, you're absolutely right. <laughs> we'll definitely have to do that. <laughs> we need level two gas station though, or possibly even higher. But first, we got to get that fleshy, fleshy skin tone. Oh, boy. Wow, must be doing something right. <laughs> Back door is brown. Could do that. Could do that. Uh, okay. And we're going to need to... Oh, look at that. There's some shit here. Oh, wait, I remember. Can't you turn off uh, paint wear? Like the overtime um, bus party events on Santa Slay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Warehouse stealing off. No, thank you. Camera mode or streamer mode. Yes. Dennis vandalizing walls off. Okay. Uh, okay, that's probably enough just like that. Ugh. This is the exact color that my car and character are in the long drive. Well, wow, that's upsetting. <laughs> Can I paint this whole thing? Can I paint the whole ceiling? <gasps> oh my God, thank you. Thank you, gas station sim people. Oh God, I fucking hated having to do each individual panel on the ceiling like that. Oh, this is so much better. Holy shit. Thank you, gas station sim. You don't just get to turn Dennis off. I do. Dennis is defacing our lovely vagina, and I will not stand for it.
All right, now. Wish painting was this easy in real life. Yeah, I know. Kay and I bought a bunch of paint. We're ready to paint our uh, living room and our kitchen. Painting the living room, kind of a uh, pale yellow. I think it's called like honeybee. Um... And then we're painting the kitchen kind of a very, uh, kind of a pale-ish green. It's called like mint lime or something like that. Painting stream, you know, I don't think I could figure a way to set up a camera, but I'm really, I'm excited to do it. But the thing is the painting is gonna take so much time and effort. Service the customer. Welcome to the desert vagina. How may I service you today? Have yourself a desert vagina day. I fuck with pale green kitchens. They're so soothing. That's a big thing for us. We want it to be lively, but soothing. Like we want it to look active, but also be calming. Cause you know, like after you're done work for the day, you go and you cook dinner. And we want that, that transition from, uh, from, work to dinner to be a you know uh calm experience i'm sorry did i just see a ghost whoa uh ex he hello uh hello do we have the ghost of elvis in our vagina Hello, sir. What you doing? Ah, oh, he's just okay. He's just hang. He's just hanging out. He's just. Are you doing anything? He just. He just floats around. Okay. The king got all up in you. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Well. So I'm on the food blueprints. I have three bottles. Oh, that's right. Yeah, Frey. I did see that. That's super cool, man. Uh, let's turn on some music. Let's turn on some this beats N instrumentals only. Uh, let's do some laid back. There we go. There we go. No. Elvis, get away from me. I'm listening to my music. What's your favorite holiday? My favorite holiday. Uh, probably Halloween. Uh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Halloween is all about uh, IRL cosplay and candy, and I happen to be a big fan of both of those. Maybe stream remote so, was so he didn't play copyright music. Oh, you're probably right, Tardy. I bet you're right. That would make a lot of sense. Halloween best, Christmas second best. I'm gonna have to warm back up to Christmas. Uh, you know, for the past number of years, Christmas has been agony, stress, pain, expensive, disappointment, failure. And so I've got kind of a negative association with Christmas. Uh, but I think, you know, over time it'll get better. I just need some fucking stability in my life. And I think after a couple years of living in the same place and having a regular routine, I'll probably like uh, Christmas more. It's hard as an adult. It is hard as an adult, Danky. Is that because you stream over Christmas? No, it's mostly like family stuff. Uh, I mean, basically just family stuff, really, when I think about where the agonies come from you're now in your forever home you'll warm back up to it that's what i'm hoping yeah halloween is fun because it's just silly monster time no expectations yeah i think that's what it is flame 
Halloween is dress up if you want to, give free candy to kids and make kids really happy if you want to. That's it. It's like very low entry, low, low barrier of entry, high degree of success. People want kids to be happy. Uh, you know, I remember how much I loved getting candy when I was a kid. And I love seeing that in other kids. Halloween for me is a two month thing. We usually start decorating for Halloween late August, early September. Holy shit. Decorations though. Yeah, Nienna. That's yeah, I get that too. Yeah. Watch spooky movies all night. Yeah. And you can scare the crap out of kids. It's the best. Oh my God. So Kay and I had this like hanging skull on our door. It's like, um, it's just, it's like a skull with these closed eyes and it's sound oriented. So when the kids yell trick or treat or knock on the door, the skull opens its eyes really wide, lights up and starts kind of making these scary screaming, laughing sounds. And uh, I remember I was so excited. I was like, oh man, I want to scare so many kids. And so the first kids we got, I didn't hear them knock. They knocked so softly, but I did hear just a little bit of a spooky robotic laugh. And then I heard like 10 kids scream. And I was like, oh yeah, we got them. But then I didn't hear trick or treat. What I heard was screaming. And then I heard more screaming. And then I looked out my window and this group of 10 kids were all screaming at the skull to make it go off again. And then when it went off, they all screamed and then they'd scream at it to make it go off again. And I was like, damn, we got the best fucking, the best decoration ever. I got a group of kids just screaming at my decoration to try to make it go off. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was great. That was great. <laughs> oh man, yeah, Danky. Yes, that's uh, basically same here, Danky. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Coraline. Largely same here. Absolutely. You won Halloween, then I well no, Aristotle. This year I'm gonna win Halloween. I'm gonna win Halloween because I'm gonna have that excellent, excellent decoration up and I'm gonna see if I can give out like a couple full-size candy bars. I can't, I can't give full-size full size candy bars out to all the kids, but like the early kids are gonna get full-size candy bars. I wanna be that house. Full size for everyone or no one? I don't think I could do that. That would be so expensive. <laughs> be careful the kids talk. Well, I'm hoping the kids say like, if you get to their house early enough, you can get full size candy bars. <laughs> oh, Leximator. Oh, you're probably right, Leximator. Yeah, you could be right. I'm sure the children will understand. Yeah, right, kids Kids are very mature. If I tell the kids, or like, you know, if some kids get full-size candy bars and other kids don't, I'm sure they'll just totally get it. They'll be like, oh yes, this is a fair representation of our current economy where people go out of their way to do a little extra for those they can, but can't do everything for everyone. I understand and this sounds fair. We'll get egged. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Hang the Dust Bowl painting inside the gas station. Backpack. Dust Bowl. Got it. Every other kid gets full-sized. Oh my God, could you imagine doing that? Six kids pull up to the door, right? 
six kids. Trick or treat. And you're like, oh, hey kids, how's it going? Full-size candy bar for you, regular for you. Full-size candy bar for you, regular for you. <laughs> full-size candy bar for you, regular. Oh, just a sec, hold on. I gotta get, let me dig past the full-size. Ah, uh, here's a little one, here you go. Full-size candy bar for you, apple for you. Full-size candy bar for you, little box of raisins for you. <laughs> Not the raisins! <laughs> <laughs> College application for you. <laughs> oh my God, give out Bean Boozle? No, I wouldn't, man. People call the fucking cops on me. <laughs> Are they even yogurt covered raisins? Nah, man. They're the little red box of raisins with the sun kissed lady on the front with the big basket of grapes. And it's like got seven fucking raisins in there. <laughs> yep, egging your house. Yeah, truly kitten. That makes sense. <laughs> I fucking love those raisins. I hated those raisins until I had nothing left. And then I was thankful for those raisins. <laughs> Here's a nice psalm from the Bible for you. <laughs> they could do a bean for a full-sized bar. Oh my God, could you imagine that? Hey kids, welcome to the house. So I've got this lovely full-size chocolate bar, but you're gonna have to eat this bean boozle first, or you could just have a little chocolate bar. The choice is yours. Then <laughs> play the song. Hold on. Don't eat your bean until I get the so the music queued up. <laughs> Hold on. Let me let me let my chat gamba for it. <laughs> Yes, exactly. Suffer as I have. Uh, what do you want me to do? Buy two shelves. Uh. <laughs> now listen. Listen to the holy goats of Crymos and eat your fucking beans. <laughs> You'll just keep making that sound. Oh my god. Really? Freaking chaos? Freaking Tangia party? His head explodes. <laughs> Hold on, is that five cats? I see five cats. Okay, what do I need to do? Oh, place two shelves. Uh, this shelves. This is the worst. <laughs> <laughs> How do I? Oh, it's Q and E to rotate. Well, I see now. Uh, let's. Did Clownsmith ever get done? Uh, no, it was the weekend. I needed to recover. The weekend was very much a uh, try to uh, 
rest and recover kind of weekend. <clears throat> but uh, possibly this week, I've got some pretty, well, yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> Listen, there's only so many hours in a day. <laughs> I used to hand out candy and eggs on Halloween. I had a neighbor that gave out healthy treats. They knew what to do. I'm sorry, you armed the kids to egg your neighbor trying to give out healthy treats? That is absolutely fucking villainous. Wow. Still can't get over how good D&D was on Friday. Man, D&D &D on Friday was so fucking fun. Man, yeah, I really love that. D&D &D worked so fucking well. Oh, I gotta clean it. Love the VOD? Yeah, that was, that was absolutely fucking fantastic. I'm so happy with how well it worked. <laughs> well, I think we're going to need more gas here. <laughs> I got an ab workout from all the laughs on Friday. It was so fucking good. It was so good. Uh... I watched it two times because I was working on Friday, but it was so good, right? Uh -huh. Had such a wonderful time. Definitely will be doing it again. Because it worked so fucking well. And I've got ideas on how to make it even better. Even smoother, even more fun. I was thinking how one idea would be to have an exclamation mark D and D or something like, or dash D and D. If you want to feed your response directly to the bot, cause the bot picks up everything, right? And it did a good job, you know, sorting through and giving us good responses. But like some people just wanted to talk rather than necessarily feed the bot. And so having an ability to choose when you give a message to the bot and when you're just chatting, I think would be really good. Also, I was thinking, what if we had a small party? What if we had like uh, two or three bots? Right? They could have little campsite discussions. I could give them little breaks, long rests, and the bots could chat amongst each other. <laughs> so I think that could be I think I think there's some uh, some pretty excellent potential for some pretty, for, for some pretty fun stuff <laughs> what I hear you saying is bot orgy it would be uh, yeah it would basically be a bot orgy yep Adventures of Neural and 313. Well, I'd want to, I'd want to, we might not grab bots from other channels. We'd see, we'd see. We need tech GPT. That's just it. Like we could have one learn from chat GPT. Like we could have one be a, a chat GPT chat bot. Another one be a medalist bot. Who knows? But there's a, there's a lot of potential. Basically, I have a lot of fun ideas on how to make the next D&D, &D, the next chat D&D &D even more fun. <laughs> God damn it, Magic Manders. So you're saying I need to write my own bot? Exactly, Tardy. Exactly. <laughs> Uh. 
I've gone back two times to listen to it. It was fantastic. I'll probably uh, listen to it with Kay. Kay really wanted to uh, listen to the um, to the stream, but she was so busy. Tech three thirteen is sticking things into his lady pocket again. Three thirteen. That's okay for you to do, but maybe don't tell chat about it, okay? I already yelled at chat about telling me about all the garlic they were sticking up there. Kay's gonna love it. Yeah, she watched a little bit of it. Are those monsters? Oh, they're heat waves. I thought those are monsters out in the distance. Eh, got it. Uh, can I have my own bot that does nothing but say cursed stuff and take fat shits? Yeah, you already have one. His name is 313. That's literally all he does. Did you do all this work the first time around? I did, yeah, yeah. The, the spin-up requires a little bit of work here. Did the game get an update? Yes, it got um, the Airstrip DLC update. Oh, it's empty. You whispering out all the things chat was saying while 313 was thinking was comedy gold? I really like that. I wanted to give chatters a bit of a voice too, right? Not just the final thing, but like the, all the voices that 313 hears in his head. I like that. <laughs> I personally do not deserve a voice. You do, Cinespots. My wife wasn't super thrilled hearing me say we finger of death a dragosy. <sighs> Listen, I kind of I kind of understand your wife. I kind of get it. <laughs> the vod is saved, right? Yes, I highlighted it so that vod will be here forever. That vod is never never lit leaving. It shall remain in all perpetuity. My husband was even enjoying it, and he's a cranky old man. <laughs> Everybody loves D&D. <laughs> oh, hey, sir. Hello, officer. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, officer. Hold on, officer. I'm going to have to ask you to wait right there, okay? Shit, is there anything I can put in his way? Uh, excuse me? Sir? All right, you're lucky. Oh, yeah. Oops. Oops. Wait. Officer. Officer, wait. Hold on, officer. Just a sec. I forgot to give you a complimentary cleaning. <laughs> ah! Oh, yeah. Yeah, you like that? Try driving away now. Yeah. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> yeah, that's right. Now, if you'll please excuse me, sir. Oops. Hold on, sir. Oh, look at that. Hey, eight dollars in this trunk. All right, on your way, officer. All right, on your way. Get out of here. Get out of here, officer. All right, off you go. Thanks for your patronage to the desert vagina. See you later, sir. Off you go, officer. Off you go, officer. Officer. There you go. Have yourself a desert vagina day. Uh, have yourself a desert vagina day hope they never patch the broom I don't think they're ever going to because I don't think it's a problem 
It's actually, I believe, supposed to be the way that you clear uh, traffic clogs. So it's it's not a bug, it's literally a feature. <laughs> Leximator? That's a fucking dad joke. You know that that's a dad joke. Working as intended, exactly. Oh, I assure you, my vagina is very much like the desert. Oh. Full of cars looking to get serviced? Never understood why the co cops don't get angry in this game. I think they do, but only if you do very specific things. <laughs> oh god the era of veg exactly galaxia green exactly <laughs> see i have a rainforest vagina wow All right, we'll clean up this last spot. And then I think we can buy... Oh my god, it takes another fucking scoop. Can we just, like, dump this shit out in the desert somewhere? I have a hellish vagina. My vagina is a redwood. Whoa! Whoa! What the? I'm sorry, is that Santa? Wow. I was wondering why he wasn't home. It looked like his sleigh wasn't parked in the, uh, in the garage. Ugh. Yeah. So many dead people cameos. I'm sorry, dead? Are you implying that Santa Claus is deceased? Because I was talking to him just the other day. He's my neighbor, you see. Eh, I got to I got to see a sneak peek of the naughty and nice list. Spoiler alert, everyone on this chat is on the naughty list. Your neighbor's a ghost then? No. Eh. Okay, all right. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Will Santa punish me? Oh my, okay. Never mind, never mind, never mind. No one's on the, no one's on the naughty list. I, I misread, nobody's on the naughty list. Oh my God, chat. Holy shit. My mistake. <laughs> My tactic of offering a beecher better work this time. <laughs> oh my fucking God. This can't go here. there okay got it i think they're definitely on the naughty list well but don't tell them that okay they immediately popo sexo when they learn that i don't know how you absolutely always manage to do this um it's my special talent did <laughs> you rang sir oh great Did you not want to send sell cigarettes? No, um, I want to sell uh, cocaine and crystal meth. You know, basically just fuel. 
For truckers, exactly. Won't somebody think of the truckers? My favorites! Excuse me, I has a question? Yeah, five cats? Hit me with it. What's your question? Hold on, we got somebody plowing into the desert vagina. We gotta make sure they're fully serviced. Have yourself a desert vagina day, ma'am. I forgot, that's okay, five cats, you'll remember. <laughs> Got those trucker boner pills. Wait, truckers have boner pills? Do they have the good stuff? All this time. Yeah, the ones with Naruto on them. Oh my fucking God. Now I've got this excellent mental picture of truckers buying little boxes of pills with Naruto on the front. <laughs> Hello. I see the business is doing well. I'm calling to congratulate you on successfully getting it off the ground. But you can't run a business on fuel alone. I've had a few of my people deliver some extra stock for those empty shelves of yours. Time to talk money. You now owe me. Well, I'll send you the invoice to your email. Don't miss it. I'm sorry, nephew, but there is just no room for charity in this world. I hope you'll find it within your finances to repay the debt. Otherwise, we'll be forced to see to more persuasive methods of reimbursement. Don't have me wait too long now. Goodbye. Thanks, Uncle. Cool one, man. Cool one. Serve the customers at the cash register. Agreed. Oh, wow. Just coming in through the back door, huh? Man, the desert vagina's front is open. You just want to come on in through the back. Uh, excuse me? Yeah, what would you like? Uh... <laughs> quick, 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 quick! Incredible. Got him! No, it's okay. Flame is fine. Listen. <laughs> Flame has a dark, dark hunger for petrol, okay? <laughs> Let her have this. <laughs> a dark, forbidden hunger. I really fucking do, and I don't know why it drives me insane. I used to love the smell, and now it just gives me a headache, sadly. Pay the loan using the PC. Yeah, I'm not gonna be doing that. Um, uh, okay, snacks and drinks. Snacks and drinks and snacks and drinks and snacks and drinks and snacks and drinks. Uh, what's this? Loan? Yeah, here, you can have 10 bucks. There you go. Enjoy. Um, pneumatic hammer? What the fuck? I get a pneumatic hammer? Whoa, what is this? <gasps> cool. What? Look at that. You can kind of like control the whole thing from here. That's nice. Uh, so that was management. Can I buy some more shelves? Okay, I can't afford those. Uh, maybe I should just restock them. Can't I, like, uh, delivery? Wow, I can't order more goods. Well, that's the way she goes. Welcome to the desert vagina, sir. Wow, you got a very small hat on the side of your head. Buying some snacks, just snacking on the desert vagina. 
All right, sir, what can I get for you? Having a little snack at the... Ah, whoa! We almost let that one fall in there. I wonder what gasoline tastes like. You know, I imagine it tastes like... Uh, wait. Uh, don't ask me how I know, but I can tell you that it uh, it tastes exactly like what it smells like. And burning. Lots of burning. <laughs> and if you want to know what gasoline is like in the eyeballs, it's also like uh, an extraordinary burning sensation. <laughs> Siphoning gas, huh? Yeah, very poorly. Very poorly. The most absolutely epic fail of a gas siphon you've ever, 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 ever fucking seen. Go on. Well, you see, way, way back in the day, Kay and I bought uh, a bus, a little half-size bus. Why is nobody going in the front door? Why are you guys all coming in the back door? Uh, Kay and I bought uh, a bus that had been camperized so we could drive around the country in our bus and sleep in it and all that stuff. Um, and, uh, we, uh, we wanted to put some fuel in it so we could drive it around. And uh, first of all, I didn't realize that buses took diesel, so I filled it up with gas. And by filled it up with gas, I mean basically I drank a lot of it and then sprayed a bunch in my eyes. <laughs> I had the siphon in there. I was sucking on the siphon. I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> I was just I was just hauling on that hose I was sucking on that hose like somebody paid me a million dollars to get the good juice out of it <laughs> and uh, so in amidst my vociferous sucking uh, I won the jackpot and that hose fucking blew its load all into my mouth and uh, I was surprised at the taste of the uh, gasoline in my mouth so I pulled it out of my mouth and it was pointed directly at my eyes so it went <gasps> into my eyes too it was a good day Um, okay, there we go. <laughs> Tech, we can only make so many blurps, please. <laughs> That's what they do in the internet videos on the internet. Exactly. Listen, I had watched enough Pornhub, okay, to know how to get the juice out of a hose. I have seen the technique, and let me tell you, it was super effective. Have you shoot it today? Not yet. Not yet. Tech, I'm trying to drive. <laughs> oh, you guys are buying lots of snacks. These are my kinds of customers. Hey, Flamingo, look at that. Serendipitous. Okay, who the fuck is out front, huh? We don't have any fuel. We're all out of fuel. Get the fuck out. Get the... Oh, no, they're, they're immune to my broom. Oh, no. 
Oh, God. Oh, fucking disgusting, guys. Could you fucking not? Holy shit. Disgusting. Disgusting! Yeah, hook it up. Hook it up, big boy. Hook it up. Let me drain that hose. Mister, I have a handmade gift I made. I made him. Oh, 313, what did you make? What did you make me? Oh, how great. Pretty much what I asked for. Pretty much what I asked for. That's what I give you. Pretty much what you ask for. Yeah, fuck them, man. Fuck them. You take your time, bud. Fuck. Hey, fuck you. Hey, stop hanking at, stop hanking at the gas man. Woke up with a legit urge to play Cobalt Care today. I get that. I understand that desire. Hank, Hank. Uh, answer the phone call. Oh, God. Time's up. Don't feel bad about it. You didn't have much of it anyways. Hey, Punk. Where's our goddamn money? I don't have your goddamn money. Ouch. Oh, no. Oh. And then I died, I guess. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Roll credits. Popo uncut. <laughs> Damn, he's so hardcore. Look at the smoke. <laughs> Look at the solid strand of smoke coming out of his cigar. Did your uncle just send a hitman because he didn't get the money from you, even though he never asked for him? You've got a gas station to run. Oh, God. Wow. Yeah, yes, my uncle did just send a hitman to get me for not giving his money back. Was this in the other one? Yeah, this was in the, in the, the first time we played through. They had this, too. Hey, nephew. Back on your feet? I hope your head's no longer spinning. Thanks for picking up. We need to talk. There was a mistake, a serious one. You can rest easy knowing I will have the responsible people dealt proper retribution for what has happened. The amount of time on your investment loan deadline was rendered far too short for what the amount was. It's plain bad business. And I don't make bad business decisions. Let's forget about this debacle for the time being. As a token of apology, please accept this small gift. It will help with your next delivery. No strings attached. <laughs> However, you will need to make the warehouse operational again to receive it. Somehow. You're a resolute lad. You'll figure it out. This VO sounds like GTA 5 RP. <laughs> oh, sneeze there. Whew. This guy's just a little sneeze. <laughs> no, winged kitten. I doubt that. <laughs> no, no, biotech gaming. That's overly dramatic. It was a little sneeze, okay? You'll be fine. Everybody's fine. <laughs> Your dog is fine. <laughs> uh, warehouse restore. Gas station level is too low. Oh, well, fuck. Well, fuck. Uh, it says additional quest progress is needed. What the frick? <clears throat> Tech your beard. What are you to? 
Oh no, my beard is gone! But look, it's kind of coming back a little bit. Ever so slightly. Um, Tech, I'm gonna need you to pay for my new windshield. Uh, okay, how much is it? 13 bloints. Have yourself a dizzer vagina day. That sneeze could beat Ogdo Bogdo. I could fucking beat Ogdo Bogdo if I wanted to. I just don't want to right now. Maybe later. Great. My beard is basically back at this point. Nice. Look at them with all their little hats. I know. I don't know why they all have little hats. Uh, challenges. Landmark decorations bought. Uh, decoration landmark. All right, so I just need to buy one. Oh, cool. We got a honeybee yellow derelict car. Oh, cool, man. Purchase the level two upgrade to your gas station. Okay. Upgrade. Level. Level two. God damn it, you undid all the paint that I did! I think I just identified where Tech lives based on the peak on the Richter scale at the location in the Upper West Canada next to a place called the North Pole. Great. Now I've got a huge desert vagina. All right, we got to clean out the desert vagina. It's got a whole bunch of gunk in there. Eh. There we go. Holy fuck, there's a lot of shit. Holy fuck, there's a lot of shit. Tech just doxed himself with his sneeze. Oh no. <clears throat> Hose out the vagina. Awesome. All right, get get the this hose in the broom. Smith demonstrates the sheer power of his only defense mechanism, <laughs> a sneeze. Trees are blown down, various wildlife in the area destroyed, and the ever-present chittering onlookers start protesting with loud cries of anger as their nests are destroyed. Our own camera crew is not unscathed by this assault. Lucy is wearing beautiful knickers today, and so apparently is Robert. <laughs> hey, nice one, Robert! <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> Holy fuck. The David Attenborough TTS might be my most favorite one. Holy shit. So fucking good. Sir David Attenborough's the man? Yep, completely agree. It's so fun. It's so accurate too. He's got such a um, such a characteristic style of uh, how do you freaking? I can't. I can't. Okay. All right. I'll help you guys out first. <clears throat> yeah. Welcome to the desert, vagina. Yeah, some Bill and Balance, Chunky O's. Hmm, everybody loves a Chunky O in the desert vagina. What can I get for you? Some poppin' chips? Frills? Frills? Billy Bellies? Yummy. How do I freaking get this thing out of here? I can't... <clears throat> can I, like, put it in my garbage bag? Ooh, keys. What's that? Oh, I got keys somewhere. Uh. Oh. Full trash. Howdy, officer. How's it going? How can the desert vagina serve you today? Have yourself a desert vagina day, officer. Eh, 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 got it. Got it. Ugh. Fast 
this cashier? Okay, I'm gonna have to look that up later for sure. Why is there so many police stations so far out in the desert? Uh, they probably heard about this place called the Desert Vagina and they're all very, very interested. To be fair, I don't blame them. They wanna make sure that this isn't, uh, you know, a sex place. And then upon realizing that it is, they wanna get in on it. Who doesn't, who wouldn't want to? Uh, okay, that's a very deep red. What's wrong with the sex place? I think nothing. I think there's nothing wrong with it. All right, let's paint this all lovely, lovely pussy pink. A sex place with some cheap cake snacks, perfect. Could you imagine if gas stations had like little uh little fucking 10 minute fuck rooms, cake snacks, and full service gas. So you could just go there, be like, yeah, fill her up with regular. Bang one out, grab a snack, hop back into the freaking car, all full and ready to go. They do? Wow. You guys have got some wild gas stations in the USA. <laughs> I have never been to a gas station that does that. You ever been to a truck stop in middle America? I have not. Wow. Apparently I've been missing out all this time. Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Starbucks doesn't gas up your car. Whoop. It's not technically allowed, but people be doing it. <laughs> Just come to my local weed shop slash brothel. Canada keeps almost pulling the trigger on fully legalizing sex work. Constantly coming so close. One of these days it'll happen. Pretty sure in New Jersey it's still illegal to put gas in your own car. Whoa! In almost everywhere in Canada, it's, uh, it is exclusively only you put gas in your car. I was told a story about um, why Canada is all self-serve gas. Now, I've never looked into the veracity of this statement, so it could be that this is 100% false, but I heard it one time, therefore I'm gonna believe it forever because I saw it on the internet. And now you're hearing it on the internet chat, so you also have to uh, take this piece of information as the absolute truth, no questions asked. So I wondered why we can't put gas or why we have to put gas in our own cars in Canada. And I was told that because- You of lies. No, this one's true. Uh, one time somewhere in Canada, they were uh, there was a full serve station because most, most gas stations were full serve. And as the gas tank was almost full the person drove away while the the nozzle was still in the gas can gas thing and believing that they were the only one that could stop this person from stealing the gas they held on to the fucking gas nozzle as the car drove away it ripped the hose off the gas pump and ripped the person's arm off and they drove for a little ways with the gas nozzle and arm stuck to the car. And that's why we have to pump our own gas now. That's just the truth. I heard it one time and that's what it is. Urban legend, no, that one's true. 
No, that one's true. That is why we in Canada have to pump our own gas because some poor little fucking 17 year old gas pumper got their goddamn arm ripped off. Cite your sources, douche. Uh, internet, checkmate. <laughs> Just look it up. <laughs> I doubt a car has enough torque to rip an arm off. Yeah, well, the internet said it does. So, fucking next. <laughs> His name was Roger and he was a beautiful one-armed soul. <laughs> it mightn't be true, but it's still a fair warning. Yeah, exactly. Even if you don't believe me for whatever reason, okay? Still, uh, fucking watch out for goddamn arm ripping cars when you're pumping gas. Or maybe you like to play fast and loose with your goddamn R's, arms. But I like to be safe. Uh, the internet also said that weeds are bad. Um, yeah, but it only says that so that you know who's cool and who's not. <laughs> Watch out for your R's! Wait, did I run out of paint? What the... Hello? Uh, why is that a weird... Excuse me? Paint? Hello, paint? That is, oh God, oh God, the desert vagina just squirted all over me. Are people driving golf carts? What kind of car cannot rip off an arm? Super fucking true, Vachi. I think any car could rip off an arm. If the person holding on the other end was uh, determined enough. So anyways, that's why we have to pump our own gas in Canada. Smart cars, true, fair, yep. You're amazing. Oh, thank you, sir. Cars can rip off everything, including heads. Can't rip off my dick. Go ahead and try, car. I used super glue. Someone once drove a smart car into the Arky building at school. Whoa, that's fucked up. Why would you do that? Not crashed, drove up the ramp and through the doors. Oh, wow. Uh, find a way to enter the, oh yeah, here. Keep your warehouse gates closed, otherwise somebody may steal from you. No, they won't. I've already fucking turned that garbage off because that's a shit mechanic. Idiot. Okay, so we need science is what I hear. Who wants to drive and who wants to pay an arm and a leg for the research? Um, Listen, Canada is already paying the price for this, okay? We have to pump all our own gas now because somebody couldn't wait an extra seven seconds for Roger to finish pumping their gas. They ripped his goddamn arm off. <laughs> Come for your warehouse. No, I've already turned off thieves. You can't, you can't steal anything. I want to fuel up my own car. Why would you want to fuel up your own car? It's so nice to have somebody else do it for you. You get to you get to behave like royalty sitting in your car. Oh yes. Fill it up with regular and be snappy about it. Also, I want a you from the confectionery stand. Add it to my tab and be quick with the gasoline. <laughs> Cuz my car and I don't want some rancid teenage shithead put their grubby mitts on it. Oh man, I wish I was the teen pumping your car. I fucking put my nasty, grubby, greasy fucking 
pimple popping hands all over it. Disgusting. I am not. <laughs> they tip you as well, pumping gas, at least in uh, NJ they did. In North Carolina. I love North Carolina. North. That's the only North. North. North California. New Jersey! That's what I fuck it. I knew it. <laughs> New George. <laughs> North Jalapeno. New New York. <laughs> you hurt my heart? What? You should be celebrating in the beauty of me trying, okay? <laughs> I hope I don't need that weird fucking dumpster yard for anything later, because I'm just filling it with all my trash. He's doing it on purpose to hurt me. North Chicago. He only knows about Wyoming corn, exactly. Listen, if the subject isn't Wyoming corn, I don't know much about it. Oh, what was that? Wow, this place is fucking filthy. Florida. <laughs> right next to that sweet, sweet Wyoming corn. <laughs> oh, wow, this is also trash. Wyoming doesn't have many cornfields. I used to live there, but the ones they do have are fucking legendary. Legendary Wyoming sweet corn. UBF Americans don't know much about Wyoming corn. I know. I'm, I'm here to teach them. <sighs> wow, this place is fucking full of trash. Sweet home, North Dakota. <laughs> uh, you know, there's a dumpster next to the warehouse, right? Yeah, I just found it. I just discovered it for everyone. <laughs> New Mexico. <laughs> Arkansas is actually a huge producer, a huge rice producer, and nobody knows it. Wow. Arkansas rice. Arkansas, West Ger Virginia. <laughs> Ark and Saw. No, you guys would spell it differently. I'm sure it's actually pronounced Arkansas. The ancient ones of fabled legends pronounced it Arkansas. And then people started to feel guilty about it or feel awkward about it. So they changed the way it's pronounced without changing the way it's spelled. Kansas and Arkansas. Ah! What is that floating out there? What is that? Is that a ghost? What is that thing floating up in the air? What is that? What the fuck was that sound? Ashley? You found a card. Whoa, reminds me of fucking Vigilante 8. Chupacabra! What the fuck is this? I threw that way farther. Coyote? <laughs> ah, the soothing cry of a coyote. Coyote you landed on. Oh, I see. I hit something. I hit the coyote with my garbage. <laughs> it's 
pronounced coyote. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Yeah. If you had to be an animal, what would you be? Uh, I would be... Um... I would be a koala. I'd be a goat. I would be a goat, so I would be the one laughing. I'd be a koala because they're so fucking dumb that they live in an environment of incredibly nutrient rich plants and they exclusively choose to eat the only plant that they basically can't derive any nutrition from and they have to spend all day eating it because they get so little nutrition from it that if they stop eating they'll literally starve to death because they've chosen the single most nutritious nutrition deficient food around them. They also are so dumb, they often forget to have sex. And they might go extinct because they're so fucking stupid. Pandas the same. A lot like pandas. Yeah. The brains are super fucking small and very smooth. It's like, I think koalas have like one of the most wrinkle free brains in the animal kingdom. It's just fucking goddamn marble smooth. <laughs> fucking goddamn polished fucking bowling ball of a brain. <laughs> Protected by a thick fucking skull, exactly. <laughs> Shoe shined brain, yep. Streamer is a koala. Uh, I wish. Think you'd be a capybara? Chillest animal there is? Man, capybaras look like the most, like, satisfied fucking creatures ever. They get stoned off the leaves they eat too? Koalas do? They get stoned off the fucking gum leaves? Don't forget the square poops and the babies have no gut bacteria, so they have to eat mom's poop. Wow, man, maybe I don't want to be a koala, actually. Eucalyptus, that's right, eucalyptus. My favorite animal is a quokka? What's a quokka? Never even heard that word. Eucalyptus dick got him. Great, great. Okay, yeah, everyone, everyone's, yeah, okay. And chat said with one resounding voice, eucalyptus dick. Put down the brain cell. If everybody uses it once, it gets damaged. Uh. God, this man is a blurt machine. Quacos will yeet their babies at a predator if they feel threatened. Wow, that's fucking hardcore. Mr. Texmith, Ammo has a statement for you. All right, let me look up. Let me find Ammo's statement. <laughs> Never mind, I read fucking Ammo's goddamn statement and I wish I hadn't. Read it? No, I will not, Ammo. You know what you did. Quokkas are literally so chill to the point where they have literally no predators. To the point where when people go to the islands where they live, they will literally come up to tourists, take pictures with them and smile. Can find a shit ton of pictures of them? Quokkas? Oh, sounds like an animal that is not designed for the human apocalypse. I will rain down upon them. Watch out for Techsmith's Quokka Skin Purse Emporium opening at a home near you. 
they won't even fight back. They'll let me take their picture as I'm pulling their skin off. At a home? Well, I mean, I'm not going to open up a new place for you. You can just come to my place. They want me to flay them! Holy fuck. This goddamn fucking warehouse is so full of shit. Oh my god. Ugh. Just Google them? Okay, well, now I'm gonna have to fucking Google it. What did I just say I was gonna flay alive? Quokka. What's a quokka, mate? Oh no, they're cute. Oh no. Ah, oh, fuck. I thought they were birds. Well, now I feel bad. They're actually fucking adorable. <laughs> Never mind. I will not make quokka skin purses. It's Brendan Fraser all over again. <laughs> Listen, if you know me, you know that I shit first and apologize later. Tick draws the line of birds. Yeah, I'll, I'll make any kind of bird into a fucking purse. Fuck birds. They ain't even real. They're just government drones anyways. You're so strong eating those pallets so far. Thank you. I've trained my whole life for this. The infamous double down. The Techsmith double down. You thought that fucking nightmare from KFC was bad. Just wait till you see the kind of shit Techsmith doubles down on. He's actually aiming at birds. Fuck you, birds. Stop looking at me, government. Oh, oh my god, all of this shit is trash? Ugh. Quokkas have backwards facing pouches for their young and will relax in their pouch, will relax their pouch muscles if being chased by predators, make their young fall out and be left behind so that they can escape. Whew. That's fucking rough. That's pretty fucking rough there. To be fair, Tekka slowed down a lot on the double down tactic ever since the Brendan Fraser incident. Yeah, I learned that sometimes you end up doubling down on a good hearted individual who doesn't deserve it. Oh, hey, I, I have a computer in here. Oh, great. Clean out this fucking goddamn warehouse. Tech totally ignoring the garbage in? I filled it up. It's all full of shit. I guess I could probably fit a little bit more in there, couldn't I? We're good hearted. Chat? Chat is good hearted? I'm sorry. Have you met chat? Okay, I think the fucking warehouse is finally fucking cleaned out. Okay, we're ready. I have a customer at fuel. I have customer at cash, regi cash register times two. Pick the boards off the windows. Oh fuck, are there boards on the windows there? God, there's so much fucking trash. I could spend all day. No, the, the, the windows. Oh wait, on the inside? Ah, oh, fuck, I see. Yeah, 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 yeah. Eh. Uh. Eh. Eh. Good enough. Wow, we can take these all off? Wow, man. Uh. Eh. And... Fly free! I'm sure that won't glitch and fucking cause the game to eat itself. Eh. Uh. Eh. Ah. What a, oh boy. Oh 
goodness. Caught some wind there. This is so nice with all the uh, with the windows open. Wow, I never opened the windows in the desert penis. The desert vagina has so much more light. Wow, it's beautiful. Get out of here. Gaping, whoa! <laughs> yep. Ah! Get out of there. Gotta air it out every now and then, yep. <laughs> Get out of that vagina! Mine only has one window. Aw, oh, man. Can you buy extras? Is that like, uh, do vaginas get DLC? Uh, baby DLC. Yeah, baby DLC. Aw, oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> man, that's a huge DLC. That's a lot of commitment in one DLC. <laughs> oh, there are cosmetic upgrades. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot. Vaginas can also get cosmetic upgrades. You can bejazzle them. Like, you know how penises get bepazzled? You could bejazzle a vagina. Vajazzle, exactly. There's always the old Vajazzle. Vajazzle for the vaginas. Bepazzle for the bepipuses. <laughs> Penises get what now? Uh, Bepazzle. Uh, don't, you don't bepazzle your... your your Penalia? Really makes it stand out. Good job. Oh, I'm here for a vagina. I'm thinking something in a desert theme. Is this the right place? True Pigeon King, you've come to the right place. Welcome to the Desert Vagina. All your dreams can come true here at the Desert Vagina. I just sit on some glitter. There, vajazzled. Enjoy. If I'm about to hook up with a woman, I hope she has her vagina all, be all bedazzled. Otherwise, I'm ramming a shiny rod into an unshiny cave. Exactly. All that bepazzling for nothing. <laughs> you know, a desert vagina is a bad thing. It means you're really bad at your job. Um, then why is everybody so excited to get to the, to the desert vagina? Seems to me the desert vagina can barely handle all the customers. Delivery. Oh, what do I need to do? Restore the warehouse from the main PC tab. Oh, restore for $50. When are you going to play Jump King again? Uh, never. Never in a million years. Unless somebody fucking does the goddamn stupid fucking thousand dollar Patreon, never. Hello officer, welcome to the desert vagina. 
What can I get for you? Oh, taking a drink from the desert vagina. Absolutely thirst quenching. Enjoy. Hey, stop honking. Hey. That lovely man is busy filling up the desert vagina. Hey. Stop that. That man. Hey. That man is filling up the desert vagina. All right. Let him pump. Stop it! Hey! <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Post the link. Post, post your link, huh? <laughs> I can only imagine my horror if I walked into a secluded gas station and the singular worker said, Welcome to the vagina. What are you talking about? Oh yeah, I forgot. I need to actually... Sorry, sorry. I forgot to pump. I'm sorry. He just stuck his hose in. I need to do the pumping. My apologies. My apologies that I forgot. Yes, one moment. Yeah, just hold on there. What? Got it. Oh, 14 fucking dollars. I'm rich. I'm oh. Ugh. I have a feeling that stop would be very popular. I'm telling you. You name a gas station, the desert vagina, you are going to see an uptick in activity. Uh, delivery products. Oh, wait, I already have products, don't I? Order. Oh, no. Order additional products. Fuck. All right. Delivery products. Uh, I think the green stuff is the good stuff, right? Green stuff is like good price. Fuck it. Let's just buy everything. Everything's everything is fucking profits. Uh, how much is that? Order cost, 623. I have, no, wait, what? Did I really, is it really just like a couple dollars? Okay, fuck. All right, we'll fucking take one thing. We'll take away the chip, chips way. Order, insufficient warehouse capacity. God damn it! Where's the, oh, I see. All right, fine, we'll also get rid of the, uh, Ah, uh, we'll get rid of the uh, Aunt Betty's tonic. Oh, it's still too much. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. We'll get rid of the, uh, we'll get rid of the popcorn. How's that? Still too much. Uh, we'll get rid of the uh, toppy. Still too much. Naranja. Okay, there we go. Insufficient. What do you mean? What? I don't understand. <sighs> We're already one tenth of the way there. It's only a matter of time before more fall peasant. No, please, please, God, no more. <laughs> uh. Um. Okay. Let me try that order again. Products. So the warehouse has 16 and can hold 200. Maybe I just order all of the drinks first, just the drinks. Top up the drinks. Okay, so it'll be, a, okay. There, I figured it out, I got it. I solved it myself as a genius. Where the fuck is our fish staff? <coughs> Member in this playthrough? We just need, uh, we need, uh, we need somebody to come into the shop with a fish in their pocket. 
and uh, we need them to drop it. We need them to drop their pocket uh, fish. Hello, I'm ready for my supply. Oh, fuel. Customer at fuel. Well, then. Welcome, sir, to the desert vagina. Let me just squeeze that in there. Get to pumping. Thanks. Oh, thank you very much. Have yourself a desert vagina day. Whatever happened to the chicken employee? Uh, I don't think we ever had a chicken employee. Oh, hold on, I gotta steal from this. I gotta steal from this police officer. Master? Stick it in. Stick it in and start pumping. Fuck. Oh my God. That one was a master lock and it required no, have yourself a desert vagina day officer. You should call it the Sandy vagina. No, that sounds unappealing. This is an appealing place. This is, uh, we, I, I want people to come here. I want this to sound desirable. The lush desert vagina. Come Pushing weary traveler. Stink pickles out my bussy. <sighs> Fuck. God damn it. You want them to come here or come here? Yeah, I want them to come here. Uh, why don't you come into the desert vagina? Oh, is that it? Oh, I see. I got drinks. I got drinks for days. Let's buy some snacks. Snackies. Snacks. Let's just buy one of each, man. Fuck it. Fuck it all. What are they gonna do? How much does it cost? How much space we got? Can I do it? Hell yeah, I can. Snacks and drinks. Sips and snackies. Come to the desert vagina. We have snacks here. Do you like pumping? Come on down to the desert vagina and we'll pump it for you. I'll be honest, this gas station looks so sketch I wouldn't buy shit from here. Ah, uh, wow, that's a little judgmental of you. It's just a little, little judgmental of you. Oops. Why, thank you, ma'am. Have yourself a desert vagina day. I'm back at my PC. What's this moist, well-maintained, inviting nook that Techsmith has nestled himself into? It looks warm and inviting. Well, Chalk and Bakken, I'm glad you asked. This is the oasis in the desert. The warm, wet, comfy hole that you can just slide right into. The desert vagina. Stand out of, and then back into again. You can come and go and come and go and come. The desert vagina. The desert vagina, when we start pumping, you'll start jumping. <laughs> Box? Also, Santa fucking loves it here. We're not sure why, but he fucking loves it. You're asking for the blurps at this point. Listen. Um, I 
At this point, I've just accepted that blurps are a part of my existence. To fight them is folly. Oh, look at all them drinks and snacks. Fucking loves it or loves fucking it? That's the question. Oops, that's not. I want paint. Now, does this paint the whole? Oh yeah, it does. No, stop it. Did that? Did that paint stay? Whoops. Did that paint stay? No. Okay, thank God. V Rising update this week, I believe. Yes, we will be firing up the community V Rising server this week. We can have up to 60 people in the server and 10 people in a guild. And we are getting that fired up on the 17th, I believe, as long as it, you know, if all goes well, we'll be firing it up on the 17th. Sexy holy shit. Yeah, it's going to be fucking amazing. We had some really great cooperation last time we had the V Rising server. Lots of people helping each other kill bosses, get items, share resources. It's going to be a very, very cooperative server. Um, we're not going to do any PvP. I'll have all the PvP turned off. Uh, it is purely going to be a cooperative. Let's all play. Let's all be vampires. Let's all kill bosses. Let's all make progress. Big old uh, cooperative server. If we love it and we do really well and we all finish all the content and uh, are done with it, we might fire up a PvP server if there's interest. But it's not my, uh, it is not my original plan. It was a ton of fun last time, right Lexi? It was so fun, it's such a good game. Two floor castles, yeah! Two floor castles are gonna be fucking amazing. I have not really watched any of the uh, previews for V Rising. Um, so I don't really know what Gloom Rot is. I think Vanguard was telling me that there's like a, there's a build with pistols now. Fucking vampires with pistols. Valheim next, maybe, maybe. Hmm, piss tools. Hmm, let's fucking piss. Let's fucking piss. Gloomrot equals a Frankenstein technology. Oh, interesting. Oh yeah, I forgot that you could like capture people and inject off for fuck's sake. And inject fucking um like certain bloods into them to turn them into like bodyguards and shit. Send them out on missions. That was fucking cool as hell. I'm so fucking ready for it. It's gonna be a great, great game to pass the time until Diablo. Oh, you can't paint the inside? It's fucked up, man. Welcome to the desert vagina, ladies. How can the desert vagina service you? Some bali bollies, some chippies, some chunky o's. Everyone loves the desert vagina chunky o's. So stoked. Yeah, I think it's gonna be super fucking fun. We'll get everyone's ARPG juices flowing ready for uh, Diablo 4. And then we'll have a big old uh, infinite size fucking community clan in Diablo. That'll be super fun. Clean, 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 clean. Gotta keep that desert vagina clean. Yep. You can't paint the inside of a vagina unless you are very in love and have planned for what could for what that could entail. Exactly. Be responsible when you're painting the inside of vaginas. 
It's not as simple as you think. A fish? Oh my god, we got a fish! Holy fuck! All right, Steve. All right, Steve. Listen, Steve, I need you to watch over the till while I'm gone, okay? Oh, God. Somebody just cream pined the desert vagina. All right, Steve. You watch over the goods, okay? All right, Steve. Store is yours. I'll be back in a bit. You watch over it. Um, oh, a demo be damned. So that would be internet lag. Um, you might want to check uh, internet connections or if you run a VPN or uh, if you run on wireless, uh, you might want to make sure you're connected to the right server. But that's not, that jumpy uh, sounds like uh, internet lag. The game is losing track of where you are and then loading you up somewhere else. So weird. I don't have any issues and she's right next to me. It might be uh, literally as much as like the ether wire jack. Uh, it could be a lot of different things. If you're on Wi-Fi, like TechSmith, I only stream Wi-Fi from upstairs, okay? Downstairs is not Wi-Fi stream. You're a laugh saver. You're a laugh saver. You know, a lot of people tell me that about the desert penis, about huh? Desert vagina, huh? I'm a lifesaver. What do you think, Steven? All these goods? Here we go. The game played so smoothly for me this weekend. I was shocked at how well Diablo 4 ran this weekend. It felt so lightweight. Uh, it was absolutely a fucking dream to play. It was so easy to stream to on the on the 9001 computer. 11 products. Awesome. I missed a 9001 stream. Yeah, we streamed a little bit of Diablo 4 on uh, 9001 on Friday or Saturday, I can't remember which day. I lost track of the days pretty quick. I was pretty fucking exhausted. <laughs> Didn't Necro get nerfed hard? You're gonna have a lot of different opinions on that. So I think the Necromancer nerfs were very good. Necro was way too strong in the previous beta. And now that you need to invest in corpse generation, and, and minion strength. Honestly, I think Necro feels great now, but a lot of people very strongly disagree with me. Played with Necron could have taken on World Boss alone. Blight is OP. Uh, the, yeah, the, the non-minion uh, specs are crazy strong, but I still think the minion spec is still strong. But like I said, it comes down to a difference in the fundamental, you know, kind of uh, uh, what you believe the game should be and how you think the class should play. Whole point is for skills to tank so I can do damage from a distance. If you in if you invest in the tank skellies um, and spec for skeletons, they can. They totally can. But you should still have to generate corpses to resummon them. They shouldn't be permanently invincible. They should be a resource, in my opinion. But I know a lot of people believe that they should be like a, a one and done summon and have them kind of thing. I think it comes down to like uh, Diablo, th if you like the Diablo 3 style or the Diablo 2 style more. Diablo 3, your minions were up forever and you never had to worry about them. Diablo 2, you were in a constant race to constantly raise more skeletons. <laughs> 
Max and Necron beat the world boss four times with a blood build and no minions. Yeah, the non-minion builds are crazy good. But I still think that the minion builds are good. I, however, will be playing a rogue on release. I really, really liked rogue. Gonna do the Disney Princess Druid? What's Disney Princess Druid? What even is that? Going Sork on release? That was the most fun I've had so far. Sork is also super good. Super fun. Rogue was amazing to play? Yeah. Rogue is definitely my choice. The absolutely fucking ungodly damage potential of Rogue? So good. Wow. You know, I always respect someone who buys two cans of Pringles at once. I feel the minimum order number of Pringles should be two cans at once because, uh... Let's face it, that first can of Pringles is gonna be, is just gonna fucking evaporate, right? You'll be lucky if the first can of Pringles makes it home. Then you have a can of Pringles for home for when you want chips. Bunch of pop, you can't stop. That's fucking true. How much do I owe you? Shake them Pringle cans up and just open it into your mouth hole. <gasps> that sounds so good. One time, and this was a fucking nightmare. Kay and I were, you know, out buying some snacks on a snack run. And um, we bought a can of Pringles. We bring the Pringles home and the fucking foil on the top had been opened and there was like this much Pringles missing from the top. Some motherfucker opened up the Pringles in the store, ate a bunch of them in the store and then closed it up so that it looked like nobody had fucking touched it. What a fucking shit move. I was robbed of my fucking Pringles. I have trauma from you saying one time in that particular cadence. <laughs> it's my story time voice. One time, one night, I went and bought some Pringles. Awesome. <laughs> what kind of Pringles though? I love plain old regular ass Pringles. Salty, crunchy, potatoey. Oh fuck, now I need some goddamn Pringles. You telling me they popped and then stopped? Somehow, you know what? You're right, they did. Somehow. Sour cream and chive can fuck me. Whoa! Pringles on a chicken salad sandwich is the best food combo? Fuck, that sounds good. Wow, lots of sour cream freaking Pringle lovers out there. Eleven products. See? Two cans of Pringles. Always two cans of Pringles. Oh fuck! Ah, oh, Steven, I'm sorry, Steven. I fucked up, man. You botched it. Okay, I apologized. I ap get out of my vagina! Hello, sir. <laughs> Pringles are the worst chip on the market Yeah, I said it, fight me I will, I will destroy you I will destroy you for besmirching the good name of Pringles What are we calling this place now? Desert Clunch? The Desert Vagina A clean, warm, wet hole Ready to service Get pumped Would you stop honking? Oh my God, you're moving, fucking stop. Cool Ranch Doritos are my favorite. There's exactly one flavor of Dorito that I will accept, and that is Zesty Mordant. 
Zesty Mordant, only flavor of uh, Doritos confirmed. Zesty what? Zesty Mordant. <laughs> Zesty Mordant. <laughs> it's a fucking, it's a Canada joke, chat. You wouldn't get it unless you're a Canadian, okay? It's zesty cheese. <laughs> it's zesty cheese. It's, uh, it's, it's zesty cheese. But in Canada, it's got the zesty <laughs> and the Mordant from the French version right next to each other. So it looks like they're called zesty Mordants. It's like worst case Ontario. It's exactly like worst case Ontario. It's, yeah, we have the French version right next to it. So the two big words are Zesty Mordant. <laughs> it's a good joke. Have a nice day. Like grape raisin, exactly. You see, us folk in the UK have to suffer knowing that we have Burger King Whopper flavored Doritos. Oh, you're so lucky. $20. I don't know that it was a dad joke. It's a, it's a shitty Trailer Park Boys joke. You're amazing. Why, thank you. Boy, 313 is really on a on a fucking wild one today. <laughs> uh, okay, I got new mail, but I don't have to read it. I think it's just explaining all the things that I already know, right? Warehouse and deliveries, opening, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh, upgrades, uh-huh, loan of goodwill, yeah, cash register, loan lock, picking, painting, dentist, yeah, 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 yeah. Fueling, ordering, opening, jerry can, new ride, excavate, whoa, wait, what? Oh, yeah, Betty. Oh. They got a police helicopter sucker behind us, Ricky. <laughs> There's three kinds of chip flavors that are acceptable. Zesty Mordant, dressed all over, and chicken chips. If you follow the Trailer Park Boys diet, those are the only three acceptable flavors. Like you missed my funny condom game message, so I'm gonna be cringe and send it again because chat will be good at it. Okay. Oh god. Okay. Have you ever played that game where you take a company name and their slogan and pretend they sell condoms? Pringles condoms are a good one for it. Once you pop, you can't stop. <laughs> Okay, okay. <laughs> There's some other good ones. Um, oh, juicy fruit. Take a whiff, whip it out. When you pop it in your mouth, the taste is going to move you. The perfect condom slogan. Oh, God. Shit. Awful. <laughs> Have it your way. KFC condoms, finger licking good. <laughs> Hello, did someone mention Mentos? <laughs> Mentos condoms, the fresh maker. <laughs> Chevrolet condoms, like a rock. Ford condoms built Ford tough. They only always break. Super. Skittles condoms taste the rainbow. <laughs> Men's warehouse condoms. You're going to like the way you look. I guarantee it. 
Media Condoms Movement That Inspires. <laughs> Tesla Condoms Ride Free. Two cans of Pringles, man. That's the only way to do it. Oh, lots of drinks. Wow, no snacks. I wonder if I should buy some more snacks. <laughs> Mentos jingle. Mentos freshness. Gaw, gaw, gaw. Oh, God. <laughs> Arby, Arby's condoms. We got the meats. Save money, live better. Walmart condoms. It's only a fucking disaster. Uh, let's buy some more shelves. Let's buy an alcohol shelf. Uh, shelves. Oh. There we go. Hello, Master Techsmith, wielder yep. of force. Yes. Farts. <laughs> Anyways, Primo's asked me to read a few messages. Okay. Let's see. What was Luke's secret code name before he got his mechanical limb? Han Solo. What do you call food made by baby Wookiees? It's good, but it's a little chewy. What's the name of Obi-Wan's twin brother? Obi also. Praise Priamo's god of cream. <sighs> wow, that did actually sound like him too. I actually feel like uh, Joaquin Phoenix or whatever his name is was right in my ears. Pretty sure it's Joaquin Phoenix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's his, that's his name. Ewan McGregor. That's what I said. That's, that's what I said. I said that. The very first, I, that's, those are the words that I said. Ewan McPhoenix. Listen, Joaquin and Ewan sound super similar. They're almost the same word. Uh, yeah, there's a ghost here. Uh, yeah, we do have we do have a ghost here at the at the desert vagina. The, the vagina is haunted. How much does it cost to level up? Seven hundred dollars. Holy fucking shit, man! God damn. Oh, look at that workshop. Tech Smith condoms, but approved. Did you pay off your uncle yet? Nah, man, fuck my uncle. Fuck him, man. I'm paying him shit. I should go pick up the phone, though. What if you can just not pay him? I'm gonna see I if I can. See you're putting hard work into keeping your station running again, kid. Good, good. I wouldn't have it any other way. I just wanted to remind you I'm not the only one judging your performance. Sure, your uncle knows better how to keep a business going and wants to see you flourish, but my approval only goes so far. The real approval you need to watch out for is the one given to you by your customers. If word of slander gets out, you might even sell Egyptian diamonds for free, and nobody will bat an eye. Keep those customers happy, you hear? Ah, great. The popularity meter. <laughs> Misery incoming. Hello, ma'am. You stopping at the desert vagina for a sweet, refreshing snack and pump? 
the snack and pump. Have yourself a desert vagina day. Hello, ma'am. You here for a snack and pump? Welcome to the desert vagina. We got all the snacks and pumping you need. Have yourself a desert vagina day. Gushers condoms. You can always make it gush. There's no way that Gushers' tagline is you can always make it gush. I refuse. I refuse to believe that's Gushers' fucking tagline. Snack and pump, two of my favorite things in life. <laughs> that's not a fish, that's Steve. Yeah, that's Steve. Steve's just watching over the, uh, watching over the till. The apostrophe. Good morning, good morning. How you doing? Disneyland condoms, the happiest place on earth. Pantene condoms, because you're worth it. Wow. I didn't know what it was. I had to look it up. Holy shit. That's incredible. That is, in fact, their slogan. That is fucking unbelievable. That is an absolutely goddamn fucking surreal uh, tagline for a fucking company. Holy shit. Alcohol. Just Google that Gushers slogan is, in fact, you can always make it gush. Then I guess Gushers has the best condom slogan in the entire fucking world. Gushers condoms. You can always make it gush. For there's original condoms, a little piece of bliss. <laughs> It was the 90s, a much more innocent time, not the 1790s. That's from your childhood. Okay, I'm not that old. Although I did throw my back out. Uh, I threw my back out washing my armpit the other night. <laughs> I was in the shower. I was like, dip, dip, dip. Ah! Oh, Last week was busy. I couldn't do my yoga. And so I'm out of practice with yoga and I threw my fucking back out washing in the shower. Okay, grandpa, I know, fuck. Oh, there's a full trash. Nerds condoms, crunchy, gummy, and yummy. Scrub too hard. I didn't think I was scrubbing that hard. Uh, oh, delivery at the warehouse. Let's get that booze. So what you're telling us is no more washing armpits. Poor, poor K. I can't wash my armpits anymore. Do. Need to strengthen your core? I know I do. I need. Well, I just need to keep up on my yoga. My muscles are all fucky. Wow, that thing can hold a lot of fucking booze. Tech had two ribs removed so he could suck his own dick. Man, if only it was that easy. I heard that that doesn't work. Also, I've heard that uh, giving yourself a beedger. God damn it, I fucked that up! Uh, I heard that giving yourself a beedger feels more like giving a beedger than getting a beedger. Which, if you're looking for practice, I guess is a great thing. Who'd you ask? Five gays and a girl. <laughs> 
worst gas station ever. Guy didn't ring up two items and I got them for free. One out of five stars. <laughs> also saw that Reddit post. I saw it on a fucking, I, I watched, way back in the day, there was a show called Five Gays and a Girl. And uh, that's where I heard them talk about it. Uh, sorry, sir, I threw your chips uh, on the fucking floor. Wow. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, sir. Is it in you? A Gatorade slogan and I wish I was joking. Wow. G Gatorade condoms. Is it in you? Can you tell? Did I order something? I, we're just saving up. Oh, how are we on gas? We might need to order some more gas. How are we doing on gas? 700 to upgrade it. Maybe let's order some more gas. Why not? Order. Nike condoms. Just do it. Uh, so what do we need to do? Buy a toilet using the computer. Toilets provide positive customer feedback as long as you keep them clean. Fuck. All right. How much is a toilet? Is that in? Oops. Upgrades. Bear services. Nope. Uh, home. Uh, where? Customers love toilets. Where do I get toilets? Um. Decorations. No. Features. Other. Nope. Oh wait. Toilet! Buy toilet. Buy toilet. Got it. MasterCard condoms. There are some things money can't buy. For everything else, there's MasterCard condoms. If you can't buy it, fuck your way to it. eBay condoms. Buy it, sell it, love it. <laughs> Arby's condoms, we have the meats. Yep, yep. <laughs> Best part of waking up is condoms in your cup. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Ah, fuck! I'm so bad at this. God damn it. Get the fuck out of here. Uh, yeah, 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 I'll take care of it. Yeah, we're all fine. There. Clean. I guess we need to, like, toss some of this shit. Get this out of here. Get this out of here. You're saying it's still kind of dirty in here? I don't see any dirt. Uh, we can paint it though. Why don't we paint it a lovely shade of brown? Uh, who the fuck was that? They, that person was on a mission. Oh God. Sorry, I'm painting in here. Oh God, I'm sorry. Oh, fucking God. I don't know that I really needed to hear that. Are these slogans all from the 70s or what? That's when most organizations came into existence. Ah! Some quality toilet sounds. Yeah, I'm a little bit upset at how quality the toilet sounds are. <laughs> Margarine condoms. I can't believe it's not butter.
perfect. Eh. All right, we got the bathrooms all painted brown. Oh yeah, two cans of Pringles. Just like you're supposed to have. God. <clears throat> Nintendo condoms, now you're playing with power. Portable power. Didn't even clean the toilet area. I don't think you can actually get to the toilet area. <laughs> Whoa. Text with condoms. I'm a low rage, low salt condom, and I focus on having some laughs. <laughs> Listen, everybody's looking for something. That's someone something, okay? Someone's out there going, man, I would love that kind of condom. Mounds and almond joy condoms. Sometimes you feel like a nut. <laughs> Uh, okay. Increase the station's popularity rating by one. Okay, we can do that. We just got to do some good, some good orders. Could put your little sword logo on the length of the condom and sell it for real. <sighs> Had to fight that one back. Allspice condoms. If your grandfather hadn't worn it, you wouldn't exist. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Are you brave enough? Bean boozled condoms. Wow. Do you dare to taste? Bean boozled condoms. Whoops. That condom's old bandage flavored. Meow Mix condoms. Tastes so good, pussies ask for it by name. <laughs> IMAX condoms, think big. Stone and strand condoms, something for every whole. Wait, what is stone and strand? What the fuck company is stone and... Stone and strand. What the fuck? There's no way Stone and Strand's fucking jewelry. Why would they say something for every hole? There's no way their fucking tagline is something for every hole. Have yourself a desert vagina day, ma'am. <laughs> Hudson's Bay condoms, a pelt for a skin. <laughs> BMW condoms designed for driving pleasure. You're amazing. I hate that song. Terman Miller condoms. If you live in Northern Canada, fuck you. Herman Miller condoms. You'll come in three to four business days. Tesco condoms. Every little bit helps. J.G. Wentworth condoms. It's my money and I want it now. <laughs> Canada Movers condoms. It's in the river. Goldfish condoms, the condom that smiles back. <laughs> Bounty condoms, the quicker, thicker picker upper. Whew. Timex condoms, it takes a licking and keeps on ticking. Holy fucking shit. <laughs> Canadian Tire Condoms 2001 slogan, let's get started. Canadian Tire Condoms 2023 slogan, sorry about that. D 
<laughs> Lay's condoms, bitch. Can't eat just one. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're getting that. We're getting that good rating. We got snacks. We got booze. Let's throw the rest of this shit away. Awesome. <laughs> Aristotle, that was exactly where we started. Flame started this whole freaking condom game and that was the very first entry. <laughs> it works too well. <laughs> What's a condom? Uh, and can you teach chat how to apply no hands? Yeah, so first you want to pop it in your mouth, right? Make an O sound, like as if you're saying, oh. <laughs> uh-huh, then what? Then uh, pretend Pretend you're trying to swallow a banana hole. <laughs> Imagine you're the pog plant emote. Oh, hi. Hello, ma'am. Welcome to the desert vagina. What can I get for you today? Hope you're getting two cans of Pringles. I'll give you the second can for free. Just kidding, I'm gonna charge you. See you later, have a de very fucking desert vagina day. Make your mouth like you was feeding a bear a marshmallow. I don't get that one. Desert vagina condoms. Have a desert vagina day. <laughs> Swedish fish dental dams, a friend you can eat. Think outside the bun, Taco Bell condoms. Holy shit. Wow, what a snack run. $31 in snacks. Happy tastes good. Dairy Queen condoms. I was talking about that the other day. Kay and I went to get some Dairy Queen burgers and ice cream. And I saw that their slogan was happy tastes good. And I think if there has ever been a more judicious lax use of the english language i think happy tastes good has got to be the top of the fucking pile Ooh. we're almost at level two popularity <sighs> pop car Cop car. $23 and a treasure hunter simulator poster. Ooh. Treasure hunter simulator. I'm sorry, is this a game that's actually like gonna come out? I would play the fuck out of a treasure hunter simulator. You know, it doesn't say dear, uh, it doesn't say ice cream anywhere on a DQ menu. Really? TikTok condoms make every second count. <laughs> Holy fuck. Okay, that's fucking good. <laughs> make every second count. You only get 30 of them. 
I want to play Treasure Hunter Sim, right, Lexi? I think that'd be super fucking fun. Energizer condoms. It just keeps going and going and going. 30 fucking slow down there, porn star. Oh, popularity level two. Did it. The game exists and it has mixed reviews. Ah, oh, nuts. What are some of the what are some of the negative things people are saying, Metal? Why don't people like Treasure Hunter Simulator? Because it seems like it'd be a fucking easy win. So what you're saying is I can use the condom six times. Text with condoms, a blap for your sack. <laughs> Hallmark condoms when you care enough to send the very best. <laughs> As an official medical doctor, is it your advice to reuse condoms? Um, <sighs> no, don't. Don't. And don't fucking tempt me like that again. That was very difficult for me. <laughs> Crashes, boring loot, mostly finding trash. Ah oh, man, boring gameplay, many finds are trash, progression is linear, walking simulator. Basically, it sounds like IRL metal detecting. Oh, okay, all right. That doesn't sound super exciting. Buy a workshop. Is this a workshop? What's this? Oh, that was the workshop. You can reuse a condom if you turn it inside out, like underwear. Boy, doesn't that defeat the entire purpose. <laughs> First one's safe, second one is dangerous. Just give it a rinse. As a medical doctor, do you think it would be okay to use saran wrap if you're out of condoms? Uh, honestly, as a medical doctor, if you just believe hard enough that you can't get porfnat, uh, that actually is just as good. Power of the mind, mind over matter. This is for sure real doctor advice from your Twitch doctor. TechSmith314 giving out total valid medical advice that you should completely follow. That's satire. That's satire in case you didn't hear it. Why is there a fish in the basket? That's Steven. That's Steve. Steve looks over the shop when we're not here. He read a text man 314 here again. <laughs> ah, fuck! <laughs> again. <laughs> Okay, that one. Wow, lots of drinks. Holy fuck, we should buy some snacks. Oh shit, uh, wait for the client in the workshop and fix his car. Oh God. Uh, okay. What would you like? Repair! Uh, highlight the broken parts. Whoa. Okay, so you need, uh, Okay, I don't have any tires, so I can't fix your tire. Uh, do I have any side mirrors? I do have a side mirror. Okay, so could I, like... Need new mirror. I got new mirror. Is 
There you go. Perfect. Uh, you need a scratchy on the door. Scratchy, scratchy on the door. Uh huh. All done. Uh, I can't. I can't change your fucking tire, man. I don't have any fucking tire. <gasps> I do have a tire. Holy shit! It's your lucky fucking day, bud. I got your fucking tire right here. There you go. Have yourself a desert vagina day. Another happy customer satisfied from the desert vagina. One of the most satisfying experiences you can have in the desert. Have a little snack and pump at the desert vagina. Welcome to the desert vagina, sir. Can I interest you in a pump with your snack? I need car parts. Uh, car parts function identical. Uh huh. Bargain price less favorable. Make a profit regardless. Blah 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 blah. Tires are expensive. Airstrip. We don't have an airstrip yet. Uh. Order. Insufficient. Funds to order the delivery? Wow. Okay, fuck it. There. Might I suggest calling it the Desert Pussy so we can see, keep abbreviating it DP? Fuck, 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 shit. Okay, I do actually kind of like Desert Pussy. Welcome to the Desert Pussy. Welcome to the DP station. Have yourself a desert pussy day. I do kind of like that actually. Have yourself a desert pussy day. Welcome to the desert pussy. I'm gonna change that tire. Yeah, you got it. Let me just uh, get those nuts off. And uh, I'll uh, text Smith and your parents. Let me put that nut right back in. Next t-shirt merch for the desert pussy. It's going to have a kitty cat on the share sleeping on a gas pump. Okay. Okay. I like that. Come to the desert pussy. I'll take a look at your undercarriage. <laughs> oh, we got a delivery. <laughs> Welcome to the desert pussy. Where our pussy is the driest in the tri-state area. <laughs> Welcome to the desert pussy. Have a snack and pump. Read 313's contribution. Morton slat condoms. When it fits, you feel like a donut. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh, Morton's got a shit tagline. <laughs> Welcome to the desert, pussy. Have yourself a sip. Can I interest you in a pump? Hey, welcome to the desert, pussy. Mind having a snack while you're pumping? Have a desert pussy day? Welcome to the desert pussy. We'll get your motor running. <laughs> Two tires, two tires and a mirror. 
So is it just one tire and a mirror? Two tires, a mirror, and a door. Holy fucking shit, bud. Holy shit, bud. Beep. Beep. There we go. Do you feel like a donut because you're cream filled? Wow, that okay. Now it makes now it makes more sense. <laughs> Lamborghini condoms. Expect the unexpected. Oops, it exploded, and it's on fire. Uh, you need a scratchy and a mirror. Mirror. Boop. Boop, 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 boop. boop. <laughs> Not a great selling point. <laughs> Oops. Oops. Uh, 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 scratching doctor, scratching doctor. Boop. You're welcome. Have yourself a desert pussy day. Welcome to the desert pussy. Can I interest you in a pump? How about a snack while you're pumping? Sex with condoms. Oops, it exploded. Now it's on fire. Awesome. Boy, I can tell you're thirsty. Welcome to the desert pussy. You've come to the right place. Hello, sir. Can I interest you in a pump while you're snacking? You ain't snacked till you snacked on the desert pussy. Uh, we're gonna need some new snackies, maybe? Perhaps some new snicky snackies. Uh, cars fueled, shop customers. Okay, so basically just do stuff. How are we doing on gas? Maybe we'll let's order some gas. Okay. And now we're gonna need some snackies. We'll just buy the cheap shit. And uh some part. Oh, I can't keep multiple things in there. Oh, they're all expensive. Fuck it. Torques are still going? Listen, Cuddle, it's a great game, okay? A shot every time Tech says pussy, you would you would die of alcohol poisoning. Customer at garage. Welcome to the desert pussy. Let me get a good look at you. Tire mirror door. Oh my god, fucking 313. We squirt in your cup. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to order some more tires. But the tires are so fucking expensive, man. Who the fuck can, or can afford those goddamn tires? Really? Is that broken? Oh, it is broken. Tech Smith condoms. One time, one night. <laughs> Dell condoms. Dude, you're getting a Dell. Uh, it is that one, right? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, we got that. We got customers at the cash register. We got fuel delivery. We got customers. We got a fuel. Let's do that. We can go real fast on the fuel. Boom! Perfect pump. Welcome to the Desert Pussy, where, you, where you'll enjoy a perfect pump and a snack.
Hey Steven, how's all the how's all the merch looking? Everything above board there, Steven? Uh the fuck. Perfect. <laughs> jello condoms. There's always room for jello. <laughs> God damn. Excuse me. Yes, excuse me. One moment. Hold on. Can I? You have a trunk for me to pick? Monster Energy Condom Unleash the Beast. Come with us. Oh, I see. Hey, you mind if I just have a look inside your trunk? I just gotta see, uh... Excuse me, just gotta... Just gotta see what's in the... All right, never mind. What do you want? What the fuck do you want? Uh... Uh... Tire mirror. Boy, we are low on tires. <laughs> Snatch. <laughs> <laughs> Jack Link's condoms presents fucking with Sasquatch. Whoa. Boop. Enjoy. All right, I think we're going to need to order some more fucking supplies. I mean, we always turn a profit, so I can just get whatever the fuck I want. Let's get some parts. We need some tires. Eight tires. We got lots of mirrors. We're probably... Well, let's get a couple mirrors. God damn, that's expensive. Holy shit. Winchester condoms. The big name for big game. You're getting two cans of everybody gets two cans of Pringles. It's the only way to get Pringles, two at once. It's fucking everywhere. Nature Valley condoms. <laughs> Airbnb condoms belong anywhere. <laughs> Whoa, three sounds like 313's got a good one. <laughs> Uh, oh, we got a fuel. We got a fueler. Boom. Perfect. Plus tip. Yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> Tech Smith condoms. Who else would you trust with your cum? Now that's a damn fine tagline if I do say so myself. That I might just change that to be the channel tagline. <laughs> Techsmith 314.twitch.tv. Who else would you trust with your cum? <laughs> Uh, about section is getting updated. <laughs> uh, all right, what do you need? <laughs> Any anyone else? <laughs> Home Depot condoms. How doers get more done? Band-Aid brand condoms. I'm stuck on Band-Aids because Band-Aids stay stuck on me. If your Band-Aid condom stays on for more than four hours, seek emergency medical assistance. Uh. 
I got you all fixed up. Have yourself a desert pussy day. Uh. Juicy fruit condoms, good for about 45 seconds. Damn, that's, that's six more seconds than I need. Sorry, Steven. Have a nice day. Carl's Jr. condoms. If it doesn't get all over the place, it doesn't belong on your face. <laughs> what the, the fuck? <laughs> Real G's just get the vasectomy and forego the condom. It is uh, no joke on my list to look into the first steps of the old snip snip clip clip. We'll see the old snip snip. I got a, I got a couple things. Uh, that I gotta look at uh, and do this this week, and one of them is starting the old snip snip process. Step one, let the mods help. Well, I got it done. Don't let the information they give you scare you. It's not too bad. Uh, demo be damned, I wasn't scared, but now I kind of am a little bit. ADHD testing is also on that list, so we'll see how long it takes. Uh, ADHD isn't real. We all know this. If ADHD was real, I would have it, and I don't, therefore it's not real. Game, set, match. <laughs> I'm cured! Exactly. Congratulations. I've cured you of your ADHD on the grounds that it doesn't, it can't exist. I've heard stories of guys whose sacks swelled up like a melon after a vasectomy. No fucking thanks. Yeah, but I mean, I've heard people have fucking had their sacks sell up, swell up like a melon for putting on sunscreen. <laughs> uh, I want the melon sack. I'm okay without that. <laughs> Anxiety, depression, and ADHD, please. Um, uh, no, well, listen. Anxiety and depression didn't exist when I was in high school, so uh, I can't even I can't even claim to have information on their existence because those weren't even words that we knew when we were in high school. So they can't be real. My husband got the snip snip and life has never been better. See, that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. Life is gonna be great. Nothing really existed in the 1800s and you went to high school. Okay, there wasn't high school in the 1800s, I think. Pump crazy and no kids, win-win, exactly. <laughs> You're a lifesaver. Thank you, have yourself a desert pussy day. Ugh. College was the high school of the 1880s. Exactly. God damn it, Disco Ball Destro. What the? <laughs> oh, we got lots of money. We can buy all kinds of supplies. 
Is that my darling? Oh my goodness. Hello, my darling. Sweetie. Uh. Want some chai? I would love some chai. Ah, hey, man. Hello, my darling. Hi, how are you doing? I'm doing good. How are you doing? Okay, good, 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 good. good. Is that okay? That's perfect. That's the spot. Yeah. Nice. yeah. I haven't stretched today. <laughs> it was a good stretch. Yeah, you did a really good job. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. You did a really good job. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Really a full body stretch. You mm -hmm. got to bring the vocal cords into it. Exactly. Yeah. That's part of it. Yep. Yeah. Hi. Hello, my darling. Hi. Hmm? How you doing? I'm doing very good. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Yeah, you're doing good? I'm doing very good. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> okay, I'm doing very good. <laughs> yep. Yeah. There we go. I'm doing it. There we go. Yep. Big head hug. Yep. Yep. There we go. Yep. <laughs> hey, man. Hello, my darling. Hi. How's it going? How's, how's your work going so far? I'm like really good. Yeah? I don't have that big proposal because yeah. it's gone. Yeah. There's a long weekend coming up. That's right. And like it's sunny out and we already have burgers that we barbecued yeah, for yesterday. Yeah, that's right. I'm basically invincible. Yeah, that's fair. Really yeah. <laughs> that's really good. Yeah, yeah. That's really good. How are you doing? Doing good. Doing good. Yep. Are you winning the gas station simulator? I am winning the gas station simulator. So yeah. Yeah. That's great. We had to restart the game. Oh, yeah. Uh, we couldn't do the Desert Penis anymore. Oh, the old station. Yeah. oh, so long, Desert Penis. So we opened up a new one called the Desert Pussy. Nice. Exactly. There we go. So we can still keep all the DP branding yes, merch that we had. Perfect. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, hang on a second. Yeah, no, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Wow, that works yeah. in so many ways. Right, exactly. Excellent. That's exactly it. Excellent. Yeah. Well yeah. done. Thank you. Well done. You. The yeah. Desert yeah. Pussy. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Era of the vag, as they say. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> excellent. Excellent. Uh, Did you barbecue burgers on your grill? No, I barbecue burgers on my barbecue. I bought a barbecue and I turned on my barbecue and then I cooked my hamburgers on my barbecue. <laughs> oh, that's horrible. That's just how it is, okay? <laughs> that's how it is at this house. I'm in Canada. I know, it does feel like it's a Canada thing. It is. It just straight up is a yep. Canada. Okay, well, you just gotta, you just yep. gotta, you just I gotta know. work with the pals. <laughs> I know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Terribly sorry. Yep. That's how it is. Yeah. It's a barbecue. It's a barbecue in you Canada. You know what, that's what it is. It's not even really a barbecue, it's a BBQ. It's a BBQ. A BBQ. It's a BBQ. A BBQ. BBQ. Yeah. Very. Yeah, exactly. Very throaty. Yeah, it's a BBQ. A BBQ. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It's the same in, in the, the UK. UK. Exactly. Oh, that's probably your fault then when you think about it. Yeah. <laughs> You're immortal. Well, you know. the UK's fault. No? Well, the USA just couldn't handle it. <laughs> so that's and why so they, they changed the name. That's why they had the war? <laughs> exactly. That's why they had the war. Damn. They're like, we will not call them barbecues. <laughs> that was it. And we will go to war <laughs> over this. <laughs> they are grills. And they have it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta draw the line somewhere. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Cat. Yeah. No. And then uh, Australia too must be with the exact. Thank you. That so Australia too. Exactly. Yeah. No. No, it's not. Yeah. The Barbie. I know. And yep. then this that's, is how. I know. Listen, the, the uh, Americans have I mean, a hard time accepting when they're so wrong and Canada is so right. <laughs> I don't know. It's not a hill I would die on per se, I but would, I will just say the thing every time. I'll die on that hill. You'll die on it? I will die on it. Just in case? Yep. If somebody... Somebody's got to die on that hill. Has to sacrifice I will die on that hill. This guy's going to do it. Yep. Nice. That's very good of you. Yeah. Yep. Very, yeah. What a cause to, uh, you know, you know, Yep. dedicate yourself. Exactly. To. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta show me what the so what is yep. it, what's it do when you play it? So basically, um, okay, I just I uh, I just I just serviced him, and uh, you know now we just kind of wait for anybody to show up. Hello, wait, hold on. Am I fast enough? Are you gonna steal his car right from under? <laughs> no, but I am gonna steal whatever he's got in his trunk. It's part of the service. It's part of the service. It's part of the service, sir. Oh yeah, sixteen bucks. All Why my. Why are there ghosts? Yeah, the 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 desert pussy is actually haunted. <laughs> it is. It does have the ghost of Elvis uh... haunting haunting it. Oh, we got a garage. Is the desert pussy in any way related to desert hearts? 
Maybe. Um, you know, I've never seen it, so I'll say yeah. I can speak pretty confidently, yes. It is. Okay, we got to uh, reset three tires. So we got to do take all the take bolts off. Then we got to take the tire off. Then we're going to put Those the tire on. Cards, right? Classic of queer cinema. Those are hard. No. Classic of queer cinema. 80s lesbians. Oh, is that that one that I kind of watched? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Exactly. That one. That one. Yep. We're also playing the game. Um, a company brand, but a uh, company brand tagline, but they sell condoms. So like, uh, oh, okay. pr pr Pringles condoms. Once you pop, you can't stop. Oh. So we've been playing that game for about three hours now. <laughs> chat's, chat's very, very good at it. Like a good neighbor, condoms are there. Exactly. Okay, I get it. Exactly. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it has 313 recovered from his adventures? Uh, no, he's still pretty fucked up about it. Oh, yeah, well. Yeah, he's pretty... Ooh. I just leveled up my oh. my desert pussy. Okay. Yes. <laughs> desert pussy ascension. Yeah, ascension. Yep. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Now wait, you gotta see me pump okay, gas okay. though. Okay. Yeah. Do the, do the thing. The whole this is the whole thing right pump here. It. Uh -huh. And there wasn't even a, a hole to pump it There. Into. It's that little oh, thing. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yes. Okay. It's the, thing. It was uh, so see, small. I think that the Desert Pussy's uh, tagline is uh, have a snack and pump. Why are there... Are you selling raw fish? No, like that's... Like live fish? No, that's not, Steven. Not. Oh. Steven watches over and makes sure everything's legit. I worry about Steven being crushed. Oh, no. He's <laughs> no, he's, he's okay. He's, he's okay. okay. Yeah. He's okay. Yeah. That's fine. Ah. <laughs> uh. Good okay. Job. Thank well you. Well done. Thank you. Thank you for tea, my darling. Oh, no problem, sweetheart. One more. One more hug. One more for the road. One more hug for the road. Yep. yep. <laughs> I can't squeeze you because I've been doing the planks. Yeah. And my arms are very strong. Yeah. But tired. Yeah, I can okay, tell. Yeah. Them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Are you ready? Big hug. Okay, yeah, ready? I'm ready for the big hug. Okay, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Anaconda the... squeeze. Anaconda squeeze. Okay. Yep. Okay. Here it comes. Oh no! <laughs> it's such a big hug. Yeah. <laughs> Did I do it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, that's super good here. No, I'm going to give you a really big <laughs> no, squeeze. Don't, 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 don't. I'm going to squeeze you super, super, no, super hard. I'm too afraid. Ah! No. Okay. <laughs> you got to crush my ribs into pieces. Into pieces. Instead of the rib cage, it would be like a rib can that was yeah. sort of squished. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for not squishing me until I died. No problem. You could have done it. Yeah, well, I, I mean, as evidenced by you doing it to me. Exactly. Exactly. Well, yeah, how you died and then came back. Exactly. Yeah. That's exactly it. it nice yeah. Okay. okay, my darling. Okay. okay, focus. Focus. Focus on the game. Focus on the game. <laughs> I love you, my darling. <laughs> <laughs> I would let her crush my ribs. I I love big hugs from Kay. <laughs> I do like that she can hug as tight as she can possibly, possibly, possibly go. Fuck. No, no, no. And I can take it. Oh God, okay, okay, okay. Who's honking? Who the fuck is honking out here? <laughs> I think that was actually TOS. I'm gonna have to ask you to stop, please. <laughs> a perk of being a big strong boy is hugs from K. I know, yeah. There is something satisfying to have someone hug you as hard as they humanly fucking possibly can. Can we all try to over hug you at the next meetup? Yes. Everyone gets to try to hug me to death. Except please, please don't actually kill me.
Uh, customer at the garage. We have garbage. Freaking stupid goddamn garbage, 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 garbage. Frick fracking garbage. I still plan to hold you like a baby whenever we meet. I'm excited. That sounds fun. Holy shit. Oh my God. Bond gang showed up and is looking to get their car serviced. Holy fuck. God damn. That's a lot of man. That's a lot of meat on that individual. Woo. Service that man's hot rod right now. Welcome to the desert vagina. The desert pussy. Sorry. Is he Scottish? Are you a wee bit Scottish lad? Can I service your car? Let me replace your mirror. Why? Let me take the tinkly winklies out of it. Okay, that's it. We need some more fucking tires and we need them bad. We need them bad. <laughs> Shrek? Okay, not all Canadians have a Shrek accent. Also, I'm 50% Scottish, according to ancestry.ca slash gov dot twitch dot TV slash EU dot CA. Oh my god, don't pull your DNA on me. Yeah, I'm half Scottish, half Irish, all Texmith. Aren't almost uh aren't most non-native Canadians like 50% Scottish? Uh I really have no fucking clue. Delivery! Oh, I'm going to need some tires. Uh. How much does that cost? Uh. Order. Okay, we got that. We got another customer at the garage. Oh God, please don't need tires. I don't have any tires. Ah, oh, fuck. Ah, oh, fuck. Ah, oh, shit. I don't have enough stuff for your shit, man. Your shit's not gonna get fixed. I don't have any fucking tires. Medalists, I read that whole fucking message with my goddamn eyeballs. And it hurt me. That one fucking hurt me. All right, you're going to have to wait until my tires get here. Thick Scottish lips. I could suck a haggis with these suckers. <laughs> oh, whoa! <laughs> Boop, 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 boop. Uh, let's get some more fuel. Fuel's on the way. Where did that come from? God, I have no fucking clue. I, I have a bare memory of when I said that, but I cannot remember any context around it. All right, so this guy's hanging out here. Ari, I got your tires. Eh. What did 313 say? 
Tech, read 313's contribution to the desert vagina next to the condom game. What? That doesn't make any sense at all. The hell are you talking about, 313? Well, read it. I did. I did read it. You're amazing. Why, thank you. Have yourself a desert pussy day. So read it, idiot. I did read it, idiot. You read it, idiot. No, you read the one telling you to read the other one. Do you English? No, I don't. I Scottish. I didn't English. What was the other thing he said? What was the other thing he said? The old text with double down in your cup. <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. <laughs> that was not worth my eyeballs to read. Ah! Fuck. Enjoy your free shit, asshole. Fuck you. Get the fuck out of my vagina. There. Fuel delivery. What do I have to do? Oh, just keep keep just doing shit. Easy enough. Almond Joy condoms. Sometimes you feel like a deer. John Deere condoms. What the fuck? That's... I don't think 313 understands. Shut up! Stop it. Stop it. Shut up. 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 Shut up! Stop it! Yeah, there you go. There you go. Get out of here. Get going. Get out of here. Ugh. Get, get go, go on. Get. If you don't get out of here, I'm gonna pick your. I'm gonna pick your trunk. Will there be more D&D &D with chat? Yes, absolutely. I'm going to run another D&D &D campaign with chat. That went so well. I've got some ideas on how to make it even better. Um, so, uh, yes, for sure. We shall be doing more. We shall continue the adventures of TechSmith313 and Chatters. Want to make uh, more time to make more D&D &D music because that was fun? Cuddle, the fucking uh, dungeon track you made was so fucking perfect. Like, I'm just going to use that as my fucking dungeon music for every campaign forever because it was so fucking good. It's the exact vibe that I want in my dungeons. I spent a lot of time looking for dungeon music that has good ambience, good vibes, but doesn't like, it isn't like a full song with a beginning, middle and end. Cause every time I try looking for like dungeoning music, I always find full songs that like crescendo in the middle and then end and then kind of fade out. So I really, really like that stuff. Hate to be the mod, but have you done subs lately? No, I haven't. It's actually been quite a while. Uh, stupid frick fracking gosh dang notifications had me forget they even exist. All right, hold on. Let me get this. Let me service this one last car and then let me thank some subs. So unfortunately, stream alerts are borked, so I haven't thanked anybody yet. Which means I'm sure there's a lot of people who showed up, subbed, said, fuck this guy, and left. Um, 
Thank you very much for the 17 months. Well, my bussy could have grown almost two whole babies in this time. That's a long time. Boy, what a way, what a way to measure that time. Thank you very much for the 17 months. Uh, keep a choo-choo, thank you for the raid. Crafty, thank you for the prime for 10 gosh dang months. Uh, just had extra hot ramen noodles and now I can't move my face. I plan to have some more of those excellent Bud Lack noodles. I love spicy ramen, man. Didn't read my resub, F this. Listen, some people take their resubs very seriously. Audrey Roar, thank you very much for the 18 months. Damn, look at this rizzed up streamer. Techsmith314 is dope AF for real, for real on God. <gasps> thank you, I knew I would appeal to the Zoomers eventually. Is it the porn mustache? Or is it the blinding white skin bouncing the sun off of my forehead, blinding you, and you actually thought you were watching someone else? Hey, double A, thank you for the 19 months. 19 months of this, blap. Whose resub was that? I don't want to expose them. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, serendipitous, Audrey. Perfect. I just combined some shin ramyun with mushroom soup and it's really fucking good. Flame? I know we don't kink shame here, um, but I feel like you should feel embarrassed for that one. That's, that's upsetting. That's upsetting. Uh, ele z -z electricity, z -z. thank you for the prime for four months. Beardly Otter, thank you for the 21 months. Hoi, hoi, I'm new here. Uh, it's a 21 month resub, you can't pull that shit here. No, I'm defending Flame, it is really good. That's fucking disgusting. Fucking disgusting. I've done that. Okay, Latariel, Flame, Atus. Get the hell out. That's disgusting. Hey, Tech, I uh, hate to break it to you, Tech, but ramen is soup. Uh, I only eat the noodles part. Fucking perverts. Thank you, pointless casserole. I knew I had somebody on my side. Doof guy, think of the 13 months. Popo uncut, think of the 16 months. Blunt bad, think of the 27 months. Vintage Gaze, thank you for the gifted sub. Lord Walrus, thank you for the seven months. Little Pink Pony, thank you for the prime for 18 months. You're not new here. Disco Zombie, thank you for the 16 months. Um, are you licking chat and also, I guess, tech? Did you just give me a consolation lick? Techsmith does not accept consolation licks, okay? I All of my licks are meretricious. Too late, it's already happened? No, I reject it. I reject your consolation lick. I unlick myself. Meretricious, yes, only meretricious licks. Lots of big words, who are you trying to impress, K? I am on the eternal quest to constantly impress K with my enormous fucking brain. Sheila Bobila, thank you for the 18 months. Flocking beer, thank you for the gifted sub to tech troubles. God, for fucking real. <laughs> uh, I'll keep on thinking for the 12 months. Hey, full year, I'm halfway there. <laughs> You've actually said a lot of big words today. One or two of them I made up. I made up a couple words to make them sound like they're real words. <laughs> Meretricious is a real one, though. And... A hand is applicable to the situation. <laughs> that one's a real one. I did. Oh no, it might've been vociferous. I have no idea what vociferous means, but I used it earlier. So I didn't make up the word. I just don't know really what it means. Hey, what does vociferous mean? Hey, Google. 
Vociferous, vehement or clamorous. Wow. I think I even used the right word. I think I even used it right, man. Vociferous means bountiful with cum. Oh, yeah, exactly. That's exactly what I was saying. Meretricious is apparently a real word and I am shocked. Exactly. <laughs> Meretricious, apparently attractive, but having in reality no value or integrity. No, Meretricious means being earned through merit. Meretricious. Define. Apparently attractive, but having in reality no value or integrity, or relating to or characteristic of a prostitute. Okay, so apparently I used vociferous exactly right with having no idea what it meant, and I used meretricious exactly wrong thinking I knew exactly what it meant. Whoops. I got one out of two right. It just wasn't the one that I thought. <laughs> Rito Burrito, thank you for the seven months. Hey, baby girl. Thanks for being the babiest of all the baby girls in all of the baby girl land. May all your baby girl dreams come true. P.S. You're a butt FRFR on God, no cap. Wow. I feel like I just got uh, 10 years younger. Now I'm, now I'm only four, 30, 22. Dark Manual, thank you for the 26 months. Yo, it Joe, thank you for the six months. Some six months already, our sub baby is almost here. I hope our sub baby will have your eyes or your magnificent hairline. And of course that absolute dump truck of a dumper. Love you tech. I hope, I hope the kid inherits my fucking goddamn rock solid dumper. I could fucking crack rocks and form diamonds with this motherfucking dumper. Big Z Dub, thank you for the 28 months. 28 months, I love this community. I hope you all have a fan freaking tastic day. Thank you. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, Magical Curl, it is definitely not updated. I think we just had 394. It's a good defense mechanism. Uh, Cupcake Princess, thank you for the eight months. Happy eight months of chaos, laughter, and 313 and his antics, popo sexing. And thank you for being such an amazing butt streamer tech. Thank you, Cupcake Princess. I am one of the best butt streamers out there. Lighthawk, thank you for the gifted sub to Koala Brained. Okay. I'm not actually Koala Brained. I don't have a polished fucking bowling ball for a brain. Ah, oh, fuck, you got me. Ah, fuck, you got me. You got me good with that one. <laughs> that one was right on the money. God damn, God damn Crimoji and goats. Uh, okay, so we got, maybe we should order some more goodies. Some more goodies. Some more goodies. Uh, ooh, cigarettes. Mm, let's have, let's, let's have some cigarettes. And some ice cream. Why is there a fish in there? Uh, that's Steven, the uh, security fish. He makes sure that, ev wow, really? That seems fucking crazy. Fuck! Why is this here? I can't get past it. Frickin' frickin' fuck frickin'. Frickin' fuck frick. Frickin' piss frick, man. Fuck! 
I hate this place. Ah! Why would you fucking even let me do that? Why would you even fucking let me? Uh, shelves. Big ice cream stand. Okay, we got it. Uh, I got a car at the garage. Just duck? I don't think you can crouch in this game. Sadly. Repair! Ready, set, repair! Wow, just a tire? Wow, just one fucking tire. What a fucking baby. Imagine losing a tire and be like, Oh no, I need to get my car repaired. Oh no, I'm gonna crash. Fucking sack up and drive. You fucking baby. Thanks for the money, idiot. Uh... Water closets all clean. Why sack up? Sacks are sensitive. I was just talking to Kay about this, how... I don't know that the term sack up really makes a lot of sense. I, uh... I don't know that hoisting your sack up really, uh, really, really assists the situation in any meaningful way. should be the text new dono sound thanks for the money idiot <laughs> vag up is a great term does hoisting the vag up really prepare you for uh for impending violence or go time i didn't know that lifting these things up really did much Pussy up! <laughs> it's because a vag can take a pounding. Ah! <laughs> Pull yourself up by your vag flaps. Check. Oh. Have you ever heard of a music group called Cellophane? Might not be your type, they mostly rap. There were a bunch of stormtroopers in quarantine. I heard them complaining about missing people. Did you know I was once a rock star? Never heard of Bon Jovi Juan Kenobi? You're a lifesaver. Okay. Obi-Wan is not allowed to tell any more dad jokes. <laughs> Obi-Wan... Crimos Nobi. <laughs> Obi-Wan Crimos. <laughs> not allowed. Not Which fucking garbage is full? I don't see any fucking full garbages. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. Two tires, door window. Two tires, door window. The Crimosian goats. Uh, two tires, two tires. Boop, 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 boop. Still gonna cook those goats? Good, do it, please. Get them, get them out of my life. The day that I stop hearing the goddamn goats of Crimos laughing after every fucking stupid fucking dad joke, fuck up, got him, whoopsie daisy, boss fight death, or just as a reminder that they're there, will be a good day. What do you need? Mirror. Mirror time. <laughs> it's my favorite thing. <laughs> bad bean? Yeah, bad bean. <laughs> fucking goddamn motherfucking goats. The Crimosian goats are not only beautiful and lovely, they are a divine being. How very dare. Fuck them goats. I mean, like, not actually, but fuck them goats.
Mmm. Some desert pussy chunkios. Two cans of Pringles. Have yourself a desert pussy day. Um, okay, so products. We need some cigarettes. Uh, we need some ice cream. Maybe some soft drinks. Some schnicky schnackies. Can I fit all that? Fuck, no, I can't. All right, why can't I? Ugh, why can't I scroll up, scroll up it, scroll up and down? Uh, uh. Uh, there we go. Good enough. More cigs. Need to have a bunch of cigs. Uh, full trash. What fucking trash is full? There Hello are there. no full trash. Oh. Why does Princess Leia keep her hair tied up in buns? So it doesn't hang solo. Why didn't any of Luke Skywalker's marriages last? He always followed my advice. Use divorce, Luke. How does Darth Vader like his toast? On the dark side. No fucking way. Is this a new goddamn Tangier party? Fucking coats. <laughs> oh, I see. Oh, they don't necessarily have the big green stink lines. Got a customer garage. Oh, there's the delivery. Uh, okay, what do you want? Your face brings crime most joy. <laughs> That's the opposite of what I wanted. <laughs> Tech, you make me want to tongue punch the fart box. Well, after you do, whoever gets it, you can tell them you're welcome from me. I'm about to make someone's day. I'll <laughs> let them know, good. <laughs> uh, what else do you need? Is it two doors? Two doors and two fucking mirrors? God, what did you do? Drive through a fucking hurricane? Holy shit. <laughs> a little moon drop. You like that one? You like the text piss? Thanks again for that flame. So glad we have a text piss emote. <laughs> my favorite is that we got let's fucking piss. And then my reaction to let's fucking piss is text piss. Just a big old pissers day. Thank metal. Oh, great. <laughs> okay, Gooligan, you make a good point. Yeah, you make a you make a fair enough point. 
Uh, we need a fuel and two at the cash register. Howdy, officer. Have yourself a desert pussy day. Welcome to the desert pussy. Can I interest you in a snack and pump? Everybody loves a snack and pump at the desert pussy. Pretty much what I asked for. Maybe they ran into the long drive bunny. That'll take the doors right off. Yeah, that's fucking true. Goddamn fucking. Fucking. God damn fucking long drive fucking bunnies. Ooh, delivery at warehouse. Ooh. Hope tech beats the long drive soon. We're definitely going to be playing more long drive. Long drive is just going to be a game we play basically forever. Whenever we're really feeling like it. Had such a reality check. Saw a little, little white paper bag in my sack, snack drawer and was like, mm, cookies from the bakery, yum. But when I reached for them, it was actually my prescription of antidepressants. But that's even more yum. It's happiness in a bag. It's almost like cookies. Maybe you just need to go buy some cookies to make the world right again. You can't, you can't get, uh, cookie baited. So now you need cookies in addition. Do have some somewhere problem in the kitchen. Oh man. I'm still on the fucking, uh, Pringles train. I got to get me some Pringles today. I'm dying for that salty potatoey crunchy chip. Uh, wow, we got a lot of money. Oh, I guess I should probably fill these up, huh? Okay, I don't have any of that. Oh, that's already full. Wow. Holy shit. Okay, so I bought, like, all the wrong stuff then, I guess? Because none of this... Okay, well, I can do that at least. Okay, I did get some good stuff. Salt and vinegar chips? God, I fucking love Miss Vicky's salt and vinegar chips. Truly God tier chips. Can I have some of your Zesty More Dance? God, I love Zesty More Dance. I'm excited for the new Doritos Tangy Ketchup and Hot Mustard. I'm sorry, are those two different flavors? Or are they coming out with one flavor that is tangy ketchup and hot mustard? Because if that's one flavor, that is the worst thing I've ever heard of. Two different, okay, okay, okay. I could potentially get behind that. Always be a sucker for Lay's OG. Yep, I definitely get that regularly enough. Tangy ketchup Doritos is so good. Oh man, see, I've been, I've grown up my whole life with the Lay's and Old Dutch ketchup chips. And every time they come out with a new type of ketchup, I find myself just wanting my regular Canadian Lay's ketchup chips. Anytime I eat a cheesesteak, I gotta have some, uh, the OG Lay's. I fucking get that for sure. Steven, get out of the basket. No, Steven needs to be there. He's checking all the goods as they go. Cheese I like to get is uh, Old Fort Cheddar. Because the stupid way they place the French on it. 
Uh, I love old Fort Cheddar. Are you kidding me? That's one of the that's one of the fucking good ones. OG lays with peanut butter and jelly is the shit. Okay, Latariel, I'm now convinced that you don't even actually like food. I'm actually wondering if you even know what food is. OG lays inside a sandwich. I've never tried it, but I might be tempted in some cases, possibly. Plain chips and PB&J is so good. That is one of the most horrifying things I've ever heard. It can't be good. I refuse to admit that that could ever be tasty. The UK fucks for a crisp buddy. Boy, that is, that is a wild way to say that. PB and tomato is supposed to be good. <laughs> PBJ and plain chips is delicious. What? I've never had a PB and J sandwich, actually. I don't think I could get past the texture. Even if possibly the flavor of peanut butter and jelly is good. I don't think I could I don't think I could do that fucking texture combo. Reaction is so visceral. I every now and then I imagine. Oh, oh I imagine the texture combo of peanut butter and jelly. Oh no 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 oh. PB and J is good. I know lots of my friends had them. I, was I couldn't fucking do that shit. What kind of texture? It's soft, like eating bread. It's like eating bread with some jellified liquid and uh, cream. And that is a disgusting combination. I just, I would never be able to do. I just couldn't do it. How have you never had PB&J, you uncultured swine? Uh, it uh, never entered the household. <laughs> the fuck is up with your customer's hat choices? I have no idea. I'm actually with tech on this one. Thank you, Snadge. Thank you. They used to make PB and J squeeze all the same bottle, just squeeze it on on the bread. What a fucking absolute nightmare. Remember, Americans call jam jelly. Isn't there two, is it jam has seeds, jelly doesn't? I think they're two different things. Peanut butter on a warm tortilla is a game changer. I don't know that I could do that one either. Jim is usually raw fruit, jelly is more uh, fruit juices gelled. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it, Audrey. <laughs> uh, three tires, two mirrors. Holy fucking shit. Coker literally just told me that yesterday. The fucking peanut butter on a tortilla? God. Peanut butter and honey sandwich? I can't do honey, sadly. So when I was young, like eight, nine, ten years old, my uh, parents got divorced. <laughs> uh, and my dad moved a couple hours away. And I don't know why. But Milton and I would have to go visit our dad like every other weekend during the summer. And so we'd get into the car for a couple hours 
and uh, go visit my uh, dad and first step bomb. And uh, Milton and I did not uh, deal with traveling very well. We both got motion sick. In fact, I still get motion sick. Um, and so to uh, prevent us from getting motion sick, our parents would give us Gravol, or I believe in, uh, in the US you guys have it, it's called Dramamine. So we'd get these little pills of basically Dramamine ground up and put into a teaspoon of honey. A teaspoon of honey with like two whole pills ground up into powder into the honey. And so it basically tasted like liquid chalk. And it was so hard to swallow. It was so fucking disgusting. And it was every fucking other weekend. It was a spoonful of this nightmare honey with uh, so much. Dr Does Dramamine make you guys drowsy? Because the medication that we get, Gravol, makes you gra makes you drowsy. And so, yeah, it does? Okay. So, my dad uh, didn't like us being annoying fucking kids. And so he'd like double dose us on Dramamine. Like there was, it was more Dramamine than honey in that fucking spoon. Cause he basically wanted to fucking drug us to sleep. <laughs> and I have now had Dramamine crushed up into honey so many times that the smell of honey immediately forces a gag reflex. I can't, I literally cannot uh, handle the smell of honey. It was, it, it, it completely, completely ruined any ability for me to ever enjoy the taste or smell of honey because of the fucking nightmare concoctions we got every other weekend. It's fucked up, yeah. I mean, at the time, I didn't know. I had no fucking clue. Got in dad's truck, got all fucking doped up on Dramamine. Either uh, didn't have enough and threw up, dad got upset, or had so much that I passed out and woke up in mom's car. So anyways, I don't do honey. <laughs> I can't do it. Which I'm sad about, because honey is like one of the fucking miracle foods in the universe. It's like, never spoils, deliciously sweet, super healthy, antibiotic. It's, it's literally like a fucking superfood. All right, let's get another, uh, another fucking tire on there. It's yummy bee vomit, exactly. Honey, I'm checking his god tier. Yeah, fuck. Been pretty much everything. I know, I'm missing out. I can't, I like, of all the things that went wrong in my childhood, I think having honey ruined for me is one of the things that I'm the most upset about. Helps with allergies, yep. Fuck. Whoa! Uh, Gamer Connected, that's so good to know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure to look into that because there are cases where I think that would be perfect. Do you like honey mustard? Uh, honey mustard, no wait. Honey, honey garlic? I finally started to be able to eat honey garlic wings. And those are fucking good. God, I love me a good honey garlic wing. Baby steps, exactly. What are you most happy about from your childhood? Killing that old lady? I'll never forget the day I killed that old lady to save my brother from a mild inconvenience. Wow, hey, Atus, thank you so much. That's fantastic. Have you ever tried actual hot honey? Not sure if the spicy honey smells different. I have not tried it. Maybe it would be good. <laughs> I 
Tech, do you do therapy? Asking for a therapist. Um, you know, I mean, so I've, I've been to therapy a bunch of different times with a bunch of different therapists. Some helped a lot, some didn't help at all. Uh, and then my last therapist, um, I kept like uh, digital check-ins every now and then, but it's been quite a while. And I actually would not mind picking up a new one. It, it helps so fucking much to have a regular person to check in with. <laughs> Wuss! Suck it up and bury those emotions! You know what? You're right. What am I? A fucking baby or a fucking man? Emotions ain't got shit on me! None of my business, but I just know that it helps. Oh my god, it has helped me so much. Therapy has been such an incredibly powerful force for good for me in my life. When I had good therapists. The therapist who wanted to talk about my mom and his kids didn't help me that much. I remember one time we spent an entire session where he just basically talked about his how much his kid did painting. I think that was my last one. I was like, all right, I don't think I'm getting anything out of this. <laughs> she had me in his little painting studio. <laughs> and just talked about his fucking kid the whole time. <laughs> I'd had a good one before that, so I knew the therapists. He was not the embodiment of a therapist. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> Were you his therapist? Maybe? Oh, man, maybe I responded to the wrong ad. Maybe he thought I was his therapist. Did you feel better after? Not really. I felt a little insulted. <laughs> Yeah, sounds like they should have paid you for that session. Yeah, I, I maybe I should have fucking charged him. <laughs> I can imagine you being like, uh-huh. Yeah, no, it was super true. I said almost nothing. And then every now and then, I'd just be like, oh, yeah, uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The first therapist I ever went to was when I was still in university and this uh, just absolutely wonderful um, lady was my was my therapist and uh, I have a thing well I'm sure you guys can fucking tell by now holy how much booze are you buying sir anyways I went to a went to a lady in university, and um, I can talk uh, at length, kind of you know, uncontrolled, off the rails, just kind of nonstop talking. And uh, I did that because I had never been to therapy before, and I didn't know what to expect. And so I just kind of, <laughs> oh, no way. I never know. So I just kind of talked uh, and I never I didn't even pause for a breath for like the entire hour that I was there. And uh, and then at the very, very end, she kind of like cut me off because I had started to go over time with just all my talking. And she gave me just a couple little pieces of advice, a couple little insights. And I was so fucking impressed that after uh, after basically not having a single chance to have a discussion, she actually really helped. So my first experience was with a therapist was actually a super positive one. You can drone on for hours? You don't say. I know. <laughs> Thank God I'm a streamer. Everybody else would have fired me. <laughs> Never had a real helpful therapy. I know I've heard of a lot of people who who have yet to find that therapist that works for them. 
Um, Kay's first therapist was really good. And then she had like two or three that just, you know, they just didn't help. They weren't bad. They weren't like talking about their kids painting, but they just didn't really help a lot. Uh, but then she did find another really good one. So, you know, it's a bit of a, it's a, it's a, it's, it's a bit of a, you know, a bit of work on your end to find that therapist that uh, works well for you. Finding the right person is half the battle. I, I totally agree. I definitely agree. Yeah. The anxiety of having to tell the therapist that I don't click with them and don't want to see them anymore almost stopped me from getting it in the first place. Yeah. Oh my God. shiracha -san, I know. The, the thing for me was, I don't remember how exactly, I think I had to like schedule and pay for each session in, individually. And so the guy that would talk to me about his kids, I just stopped scheduling appointments. So that was easy enough for me to stop. Whoa, what the fuck, Porg? Yeah, so anyways, there are definitely, there are definitely therapists out there who are perhaps not very good at their job or perhaps they're good at their job and they're just not for you. It takes a very specific kind of therapist to be right for the very specific kind of person. My therapist asks when the next appointment will be at the end of my current one. So I'm to be like, uh, never. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Of course, yeah. Next session. Mm, oh, no. It looked like my, looks like my, my, my schedule is full up for the rest of my entire life forever. Oh, nuts. Oh, well, thanks for the sessions. See you later. When Half-Life 3 comes out. Next session, 32nd of July. Can you be our therapist for a stream? Boy, that is a recipe for disaster. Recipe for disaster. Well, yeah, yes. Amazing Amanda, this is a huge thing that I forgot to say this time, but I always try to say is if somebody makes you go to therapy, um, there's a good chance the therapy is going to have no effect whatsoever. Therapy has the best effect when you want therapy. When you desire therapy, that's when you're going to probably get the most out of it. Being forced into it or guilted into it or whatever, maybe it works. Maybe. But the chances are way lower. When you want it and you know that you need it and you desire to have it work, that's when you're going to be able to put in the effort to find a good therapist for you. Ah, True Pigeon King. That's a good idea. I like that. Oh, wow. Maddie Moon. That's so good. Hey, that's great. If you don't desire change, you can't make it. It becomes a lot harder. That's for sure. Yeah. You got to open up to it and all that. Yeah. And you got to, it's got to come from a place. The opening up, you know, kind of happens over time, but you got to make sure that you want it. Yeah. We've been in your channel for too long not to think we need therapy. Yeah. <laughs> hey, poor, that's so good. Wow. Hey, bonking. That's amazing news. That's fantastic. Are you kidding me? I need therapy because of this channel. Oh, okay, all right. Chat, unfortunately though, chat, we are gonna have to call it there for the day. Um, I'm gonna try to keep this to our regular stream times for this week. Um, I've got a whole, I know, one more hour, I know. But I gotta, I gotta, uh, I got a lot of things that have to be done off stream time. Real life things that I kinda, you know, shoved out of the way because I was busy doing other stuff last week. Um, so I got to take care of those tomorrow, probably some more gas station simulator. And, um, on the 17th, we will be firing up the V rising community server. 
Okay? <laughs> want the song? You guys want... <laughs> okay, all right. Myself off, ball thing, jerk myself off, ball thing, jerk myself off, ball thing, jerk myself off, ball thing. I can just like whip my dick out and take a bunch of pictures, pictures, pictures. My dick, jerk myself off, my god, ball gun. Oh, oh, my, my god, 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 jerk myself off, my god, ball gun. Tommy, 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 jerk myself off, ball thing. Just like whip my dick out, jerk myself off, ball dick, jerk myself off, ball dick. Do you have any idea how much I charge? <laughs>